do 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 oh, a bit chilly folks go oh, good evening emma hello you all right I'm all right how are you yeah fine thank you it's i can see christmas in the background really <laughs> <laughs> Lighten up the bedroom. <laughs> Not taking the Christmas lights down, or are they a new addition? No, they've been up a while, oh, these have. Yeah. <laughs> have a bit um, of light in there. <laughs> well, yes, I think you can't beat a bit a bit of light and a bit of colour to make you yeah. feel better, isn't it? Exactly. You cannot beat that. So have you been working today? What's the score? No, uh, uh Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday usually works. So. Right. So you've been then, all right today. Yeah, yeah. booked all the day, so I'm happy. Oh, <laughs> what? Where, where t- you, did you, as in, actually booked a holiday to a broad yeah. holiday? Oh, where are you yeah. going? Turkey again. Oh, are you in the summer? Yeah. Um, October, so it'll oh, be cold okay. here, and then it'll be nice and warm there, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, have you a bit? Have you been before that time of year? Yeah, we went last year. It was really nice. Yeah, so uh, I, I've got a penchant for uh, Egypt, so we go to Sham a lot. Um, yeah, and it's just it's interesting to see what uh, other places are like because we default to that now because I just know it's always going to be at least thirty degrees. It's yeah, like I, we we go there a lot, so it's interesting to see. I've been to Turkey in the in the summer and it was roasting. Oh, I know it can get really bad. Like, but it, they got some really good prices at the moment to Turkey. Yeah, ah, John's back. Good evening, John. How are you? Hi, John. <laughs> um, Josh is in the house as well. Year uh, year round Christmas lights. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and why not? Very much so. Very much so. Um, and why not? Um, so here we are. We've come back again just to chat. Um, and I've got my tactics board out, Emma. Do you know what that yeah. means? Yeah. You know, like, this is dangerous Analyze. now. Yeah. Uh, well, I've, maybe not. Maybe not so much deep analysis. But however. I'm intrigued. So the question really is, um, uh, I, I, I've put, I've, I've got a formation up there at the moment that I think we'll probably play tomorrow, and it'll just be interesting to see what other people would do. Um, the reason being, there was that article by Phil Parkinson in the Athletic where he kind of yeah. got quizzed a little bit. I think Sutty sort of nudged him a little bit to see, uh, to say, you know, you get a little bit of stick for your tactics, Parky. What do you want to say? And he. He span a bit of a story about how he plays different formations in and out of possession, which uh, I don't see very much of. I think I think at Newport I might have seen it last, yeah. um, where we did something different out of possession than in possession. However, it's an opportunity for everybody to talk about what formations they would play and what players they would play, and we can just mingle that into our uh, into our Grimsby chat. Was the theory? Um, yeah. So, um, so I'm in in the comments, please. Um, you can either put your sort of formation and starters in and we'll all have a look at it. I'll set it up on the little tactics board. Um, or you can come on and tell us what you do um, because I put the link so you can come and chat with us in the comments. And I think I put it on the tweet that I put out. So, uh, so yeah. Um, I know. Uh, ah, good evening. Ivan's in the house. Ivan, I, Ivan's got a whiteboard that he uses um, yeah. when he goes on the local pundit. <clears throat> Ivan, I'm not, I'm not stealing your idea. However, mm. oh, good morning in New Zealand. Yes. Um, however, I do have the, uh, I do have the, uh, I do have the digital smart board. Should we call it? Um, so, uh, so yeah, we will, uh, we will endeavour to use that, um, and I will try. I'm just going to have to try and figure out which one of these. Uh, uh, I want to start the red dots. Uh, Jesse, explain that to me. I think that's something to do with my board, but I'm not sure. So, there are the red dots. You see, look at that. Look at this magic. <laughs> so, that's what we've got to play with after. So, we've got that to play with. Uh, tell me your favorite formation starting lineups. Tell us that type of stuff. Um, and we will uh, we will see what's going on. Um, Ivan made some really good points the other day when he was doing his breakdown um, on the local pundit about what we do and what we don't do. Um, 
and yeah that's it's inspired me to do it to do a bit i was going to do another bit recently but i didn't um i was going to do an hour or so on what we do and how we do it but yeah it's uh it's controversial because it gets touchy whenever you whenever you do something with with parky it gets a bit touchy doesn't it people get a bit yeah. upset that if you say you do something different or we, why don't we do this or what are we doing people get uh people uh people like to back him and that's fair enough that's fine it's all right for you yeah. to do that that's good um so how are we feeling ahead of tomorrow i'm feeling quite confident i am for a change not not as nervous as i was last week at Tramia. i yeah. think from the after effect of Tramia and you know seeing them win the game and celebrating i think it might push them yeah to go down there and get the win so i'm feeling confident about tomorrow this league is still there for somebody to win in it somebody needs it to is. get hold of it yeah um and if somebody can string two, three, four wins together, I think they're just going to be in such great shape. Yeah. Uh, easier said than done. I appreciate that. But if you want to win the league, you've yeah, got to yeah, you've got to sure. go to places like Grimsby and win, haven't you? You've got to yeah. go to whoever, wherever. You know, uh, you've got to yeah. you've got to beat Mansfield at home. These are the things you have to do. Um, yeah, I think so... that's one big thing for me. That if we've got to beat them at home. Yeah, Next Mansfield. Week. Yeah, if you yeah. want to win that league, you've definitely. If you just want to get promoted, you've just got to get a point, probably. Yeah. Just don't lose the game. Stay in touch with them, innit? That's the. Yeah. That, that's pro probably the, uh, probably the thing, uh, probably the thing to do. But um, yeah, I think just uh, just. I think I've not. I said uh, on the podcast that I said somebody's going to win this game one nil, and I'm just going to go with that. And I don't know who it is. It yeah. could go. It could go either way. I, I'm more nervous than you, obviously. Yeah. Um, so uh, so yeah. Get let people uh, put put. Uh, I want uh, off you tonight some interaction. I want some formations and teams. I want score predictions for tomorrow. That'd be good. Um, I was listening to a Mansfield podcast today, and they ask who they think is going to be man of the match. Which I thought was quite interesting. So, who do we think might be a standout player for us tomorrow? Um, Elliot Lee looks a bit tired. Mulls has not quite. Is, has, has he gone off the boil, or does he need Palmer? I think he needs Palmer to start. I think we we need to go back to the basics and uh, what we spoke about last week: Palmer and Mullen up front and um, Fletcher on after. But then saying that, Marriott's been quite good this week. I just hope he gets picked before Dalby, to be honest. Mm, I thought I was amazed that those two decisions really yeah. shocked me. I thought he'll definitely start Palmer. I don't think Palmer was great the game before, but no, I, I thought I, I didn't think he deserved to be dropped. No. <laughs> so I thought there's uh, no way he'll think... change that. And then I, yeah. there was no way Dalby could come out of nowhere. And lo and I... behold, there we were. Yeah, I just don't understand, you know, why why change it again? I mean, I know Harrogate was a bit stalemate, but I don't think everybody, you know, like was fully on it kind of thing. So just the single Palmer out, <clears throat> I, I didn't understand that part. But I, well, my brother made a comment, didn't he, on the Rex and football and Mullin liked it. Yeah, so that's, uh, so you can tell that story in a second. But the, my first yeah. question is, um, that is that definitely Mulls' account? Yes. As far I as went, we can tell. Yeah, because I went on and it's, it has got all this stuff where he posted when we had the Morecambe win and things like that. All right. So go, So tell the story. So on, on, on Facebook, in one of the Wrexham groups, your brother commented on a post. I think that was already there. Yeah, Is that on, right? I think it was a post on Wrexham AFC and posted on Facebook saying that right. we'd... Uh, lost uh, yeah. to a uh, draw, I think it was. Uh, me, but no, it was the loss. And then my brother commented, nothing to do with anything else other than team selection. Yeah. Um, right. And when he when he looked, somebody said, "Well, Paul Mullins liked it." I went on it just to make sure it was him. Yeah. But it did did. I mean, it did look like us. Everything on it is what he put against Markham. Right. So, so I think he can't really say a lot, but he it speaks volumes a bit if you're like in status. Post. Yeah, I'm amazed at that because normally they're really careful, aren't they? Uh, yeah. As we know nowadays, because everything you can like something, yeah, for a different reason to what it's intended. But yeah, I know that sounds weird, but um, 
so normally they're super careful in case it gets read the wrong way and stuff, aren't they? So uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, let's see. So uh, good evening, Millie. Millie's in the house. Um, she's going to say two one Wrexham. Uh, are you, let me know if you're going, Millie, because um, obviously you do go to a lot of the away games. Um, Cryptic said we need to win Marriott to replace Dolby. Same eleven. Yeah, well, that's interesting because so you'd still pick Fletcher ahead of Palmer. That's interesting. I think that's interesting. Uh, Dolby, uh, I've got no context to that, Paul. So let me know what that uh, what that one is. Uh, Josh, uh, I had a um, I, I, I thoroughly encourage everybody uh, to to go and subscribe to the local pundit. On YouTube, if you love watching other people's content, other teams' content, um, then uh, Mansfield Matters is a really good one that's relevant this week. We talked about the Magpie Circle. Is that what it's called? Last yeah, week? Magpie, we yeah. talked about that one. That was good this week. Yeah. Um, but Josh does loads of different stuff. A um, few videos per week, and he has some of the guys that are in the comments here. Uh, Ivan likes to talk about tactics. He likes to get into the weeds um, and talk about tactics, so that's worth looking at. Um, uh, and they've got a show later on tonight and they're doing watch alongs and stuff. So if you can't necessarily watch the game and you don't want to listen to it on the radio, you want something more visual and you can get in the chat. Um, so go and watch, uh, go and watch what, uh, what they're doing. Cryptic also said Bolton for Barney. I think that one's been forced yeah. on our hands, bearing in mind, um, the, the the word from Stace was that Barney came out with a boot on and a crutch following the game on last weekend. Uh, and then Parky has kind of said that he's got a tr trouble, Annie. Was it about Thursday? Or it was about Thursday that he, he, he said that in the leader. So um... Yeah, I've seen Barney on Tuesday when I went to the club and he, he had the boot on and I was listening to somebody who worked at Wrexham yeah. in there and they were saying it doesn't look good. That he'd had the scans the night before, and they, they were that it didn't look good. That's what they were saying. Yeah. The problem is that is, so the boot is all they'll 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 automatically put a boot yeah. on sometimes for protection, um, so that you uh, don't uh, knock the foot or whatever, and so you can't always tell. Um, but um, they're hoping it's bruising. So the problem is they'll, they'll be wanting to do scans, but the bruising will be getting in the way potentially as well. Yeah. So that can that can be an annoyance. You sometimes have to go back for more scans. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you don't always know straight away. It's really, uh, really uh, un unfortunate yeah. for Barney. Um, they but... did say that he'd, that he'd uh, continue to play, but yeah. he was struggling, and that's why they had to take him off in the end. So was that the foul? Was there a I've got yeah. in my in my head I've got cat. an awful foul in the first yeah. half. Yeah. yeah. Right in Should front of the paddock. Yeah. 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 I couldn't see if it was a red card, but ob obviously you appeal, don't you? You go red yeah. card anyway, but um I couldn't tell. So yeah. uh, right, that's uh that's quite interesting. Good evening, Aaron. Aaron's coming. Mad Al is telling us Cleworth and Davis are his favourites. So how would you get them into a team, Mad Al? Tell me that. Come and tell me what formation you play and how you get into the team. Everybody's got a team. Everybody, normally, 95% of people go, oh, we should play 4-4-2 or we should play 4-3-3. And this yeah. is what you do. So now's your time. Uh, Ivan, touching on uh, Parky's article, uh, it really uh, Parky's comments on changing to off the ball 4-3-3 in defence really puzzled me. It's either really primitive or I don't get it. It's actually something... Uh, and it's actually something witty. Um I think, um, yeah, I don't think Parky was being witty. I think he was trying to give a, an articulate response. But obviously, we weren't in the room at the time, so we don't necessarily know. Um, but, uh, yeah, I can only think of one game at Newport away where we've potentially done that, um, that I've noticeably seen us. The majority of the time, our team is quite static and still. So you can see quite clearly where, well, it's, it's easier for me maybe than you because I'm, Upper, upper tech end, um, so you can see exactly what they're doing, and I've not seen that. So, um, uh, oh, Paul saying Dolby man of the match. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, do you want to put a fiver on that, Paul? <laughs> uh, because uh, although 
no, I shouldn't say that because uh, he has proved was proved us wrong before Dolby. I need to be fair. Yeah. Um, uh, Millie said, "In what I see, Fletch is more fired up when he comes off the bench." Yeah, totally. Yeah, do you know agreed. what? I I I don't think there's any doubt that as a footballer, Fletcher is still a better footballer than Palmer. Yeah. But he seems to have more impact for us at the moment, ah. whether it's a fitness thing or what, because um, he never yeah. had a good preseason. But off the bench, he definitely seems to be uh, more impactful than he. Yeah, when I think when Pam was on the bench last week, I was looking at the bench thinking, who's going to make a you know yeah, a change true. kind of thing. Whereas yeah. if Fletcher's on it, you think, well, if he comes on, he's able to do something. So yeah. I totally agree with Millie. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I do get that. Um, uh, Mad Al said Arthur Massey will score before Mario. I think that's a bit <laughs> harsh. Um, <laughs> I can't make me my. I, I, he's not had a lot of football, but when he has no. had some football, he's snatched a couple of chances that it make, that's making me nervous. He's giving off the vibes that I'm getting is Billy Waters vibes, and he needs to do something in a game to change that, doesn't he? You know, if he scores a couple of goals yeah. tomorrow or something, we might start to think differently, mightn't we? Um, I think he's good. I think he's I think he'll come on as a sub and I think he'll score tomorrow. Oh god, I hope you <laughs> <laughs> I was being awesome optimistic, but I think so. I got we got we got Alex joined in the chat when he had a when he had a mouthful of I don't know what they are, <laughs> nibbles. <laughs> I thought I was watching only. I didn't realise I was on screen. Uh, what, what's, it's like your team, mate, or what are you doing? Oh, he's got KFC. Oh, he's got a Richie. Oh, he's got a Richie. <laughs> All right. So I'll, let you have your, I'll let you have your tea then. We'll bring you back in a minute, shall I? Give me 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. that's all right. I wasn't expecting you to be here yet, so that's fine. That's <laughs> uh, dear. Um, that's interesting. So Aaron says, start Palmer Marriott. Start Palmer, Marriott and Fletcher on the bench. Tom O'Connor, Lee and Cannon in the midfield. Same back three, Mendy and Bolton. Right, so shall we? Let's use this as a great starting point then. Let me let me just um, let me play around um, and put that. Marriott and Fletcher on the bench. Tom, o Tom O'Connor, Lee and Cannon. So that basically means... I'm just going to put. I'm going to bring this to life for us, uh, and see if we can, um, if we can articulate that for. Uh, not that one. No, I'm not trying to play a video back. Reach. Go away. <laughs> we'll get there. No, I've lost me. I've lost me presentation. Present. Share screen. Tactics board. Share that. There we go. Right. So, <coughs> Aaron, <coughs> you've uh, you've intrigued me enough to get the tactics board out. I think I've got players there. Is that how? Tell us if is that how you envisage it being played? Do you play Cannon there, or are you going to play? Probably actually going to play Tom O'Connor there, and you're probably going to play Cannon there, and you're going to do that there. Because that's the way Parky Parky likes that sort of midfield. You see, one man sitting yeah. and two, what we call number eight. So if that's uh, Mendy, just you think he'll drop Luke Young. Um, <clears throat> if Tom O'Connor's fit, I think he will. Yeah. Um, it just because his, his, historically he's got those players that he really likes, and he just he just seems to drop other people to get them yeah. back in. Okay, so, yeah. so if Tom O'Connor is fit enough, and bear in mind he played that reserve game, didn't he? The uh, yeah. Wednesday. Oh, I've lost track of the day. Yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever day it was, he yeah. played that game. If Tom O'Connor is fitter, fit enough to start, then yeah. I think he'll drop him. Yeah, but I think, that's the, yeah. that's the. I mean, I'm not saying that's what I would do. I would no. probably ask. I would probably look for another sub appearance. Um, I think uh, Davis had a full game as well, didn't he? Yeah, scored a goal or two. I've I've lost track. Um, uh, let me just see what Aaron says. That's it. Tom O'Connor behind Cannon and Lee. Right there, you go. Okay, so that's the kind of um, three-five-two that Phil Parkinson seems to like. 
Um, yeah. He, that's how he plays it. Now, just out of interest, Emma, um, yeah. from what you've seen and the, the, the uh, of what the players we've got available, I've put the players that are injured, I think, on the right-hand side and everybody else I think I've got on the left. But um, what would – what would if, if it was you tomorrow – yeah. What would what? I, I, you you're welcome to carry on playing three five two. What would you do? Um, I think the team you put up is pretty strong. Um, I think he will. Like obviously, with Bolton, will definitely play because of Barney. I think he yeah. will have, Mitty, but I think perhaps he'll play with that tomorrow, and then he'll bring McLean back. I think. Yeah. Into midfield next week. And I yeah. think he's better off in midfield than he is. I agree. Yeah, I agree 100%. Uh, and okay. that's why McFazdeen's come back in with that extra Yeah, absolutely. Place. Yeah, you, so he, you called that, didn't you, a couple yeah, of weeks we, ago? We, uh, I, I think it was just the, like... Oh, the, they were obviously waiting for Fordy to see. Uh, yeah. We saw Fordy at the Guersal Reds and he said he was open to be back and he was back. He was sort of back running, etc. But... It was just you can sometimes you can just read the room, can't you? you yeah. Can, so, um, so yeah. that's fine. If, ultimately, he's just going to be a backup left back. We've yeah. got eight games to go. He's an yeah. experienced pro. He, he's he's not my favourite. I think he suits a four four two better. I think he's a better left back than he is a wing back. Um, yeah. Because as a left back, really, he's only got to worry about back here. Whereas a wing yeah. back, you've got to do this bit, and I don't think yeah. this bit suits him personally. No. No, he um, doesn't. I think he's better in a he's better in a four four two. However, um, that is the uh, that I you know I agree. I think McLean will come back. I mean, the the back three. I think you know I've played well, but yeah, yeah if no you want to if you want to change it up with tools and having the long throws, if yeah. it doesn't work at the back three, and we're not getting anywhere, I yeah. I would bring tools on and. I'm not saying we'll, uh, you know, it's something different though, isn't it? If if we can't get nothing first half, you have highlighted a player that I haven't got on here. I think. I think I'd forgotten about Ben. Yeah. How dare, how dare you forget about Ben? <laughs> I think. Yeah, it's, it's a good him. question. That who you who would you drop McLean in the midfield for? It's a, it's a good question, though. Um, yeah, it's it's it, it, it's it's complicated because we don't know the full status of everybody. I.e., we no. don't know how fit O'Connor is, do we? No, um, that's the thing. Uh, shall I tell you what I would like Wrexham to do? Uh, yeah. Uh, um, then I'll try and justify why. Although I, I think I've picked a bad example. However, let's just we'll we'll play the game. Yeah. Um, and I'll explain one of the things that I would like to see Wrexham do. So, um, and, and listen, there's more than one way to win a football match. Um, yeah. No definitive way where you'll absolutely win. It's just preference. And that's one of the things that makes football interesting. Some managers prefer four at the back. Some prefer three at the back. Some will play five at the back. There's all these different permutations, which makes, if you, if you, if you like to, dig into the weeds. This is what makes it interesting. However, there's one change I would like us to make, um, and, uh, and I think it's within Parky's remit to do it. Um, yeah. And I'll say why. So at the moment, this is how we play our midfield, right? We have one holder. It yeah. could be Evans, O'Connor. It's been Cannon. It's been Young, whatever. Um, and then we have two players that kind of just do this all game. Yeah. Um, that's their job. It, oh, I've just drawn there. I didn't mean to draw, so I will get rid of that. So that's what they do all game, basically, is that, right? Um, and my preference is to do something slightly different. So uh, I would like to see this. And these are yeah. very small tactical changes that you can make. Um, however, Elliot Lee does too much work down here. Yeah. Right, and eventually that takes a toll on you in a game. If you have to run hard in a game, that will yeah. tire your body and then tire your brain out. And then when you have got to do, go attacking, you you just haven't got the juice and you don't think properly. No. I think his work, because he is that creative. I would just like to see him working here. Yeah, right? and part of the reason for that is it gives us um, better passing options from O'Connell. He can go into the midfield. 
Yeah. Or he can go into Lee. Um, but I just think he is that type of player where he can get the ball. Yeah. In space here, he probably wouldn't be marked, although he's yeah. good enough to take the ball on the turn. Um, and then he can um he can then either he likes little one twos with Mullin. I don't know if you've noticed there's a couple of goals yeah. they've scored where they've done little one twos on the edge of the box. Um uh, and obviously he's still got Palmer there if he wants to if we want to work the ball out wide to Bolton. Yeah. Or Mendy coming up the flanks. Lee can pick it up, lay it out, and Palmer is there for that. And I, I just think fun, especially at home, I would like to see this. Yeah. Um, because definitely. he's wasting his energy um being deep. Now, I've got a uh, I will try and show you. Uh, a heat map. Let me see if I can uh, get this up. The heat map de, 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 from Tranmere. Share. So we get all these stats now, um, and we get yeah. all this stuff. So this is from a, a, a pretty reputable site called Who Scored, right? And they give you heat maps of where people have run. Okay? Yeah. And if you look at Elliot Lee, he's, his hot spot is in that left channel. So he would, you know, his natural position is to yeah. sort of uh, be here and he ends up in that left channel. I want that hot spot just to be all around this center point because we have a massive hole there. But if you watch next time, yeah, uh, next time you see, we have a massive hole there and that is another place that we can be creating from. Uh, yeah. So that's the reason that I personally, if Parky would like to stick to his three at the back, that's what I'd love to see him do is to switch that. Um, yeah, but listen, there, as I said, there's you know, you, there's more than one way to win a game, um, uh, and uh, you've still got to make that effective. I, you've got to pass the ball to his feet. There's no good lumping long balls to him. You know that would uh, that would obviously kind of defeats the object if you're just going to get Tozer to chip long balls to a yeah. five foot. I don't know how tall do you reckon he is. Five foot three, five foot four. He's not yeah. six foot like it says on Wikipedia. No. no. <laughs> So, so yeah, so that's the little tweak that I would love Parky to make, especially at home, um, so that we are a bit more attacking. We've got another body coming in, coming in the box, arriving late. Um, so there you go. I've told you mine. Now let's see what uh, we'll see what other people think uh, think to say. Uh, Millie said it should have been a red, by the way, not uh, but yeah. of course we got a yellow. I think that's that tackle on Barney. Yeah, it should have been. Yeah, um, agree with her. Andy Collins says Davis Dwyer Roberts Davis Hill Sutton Washington Caroline <laughs> McNeil, yeah, that's a that's a, a classic side of Wrexham. Um, okay, so <laughs> Jesse says Boyle's going to be man of the match. Yeah, he's been steadily building. Comp yeah, so me and Jesse were talking about this um, at, uh, during the game. Uh, I think it was where she's, we were basically saying he's he steadied out Boyle as. He, yeah. He, 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 it felt like when he came in, he had a, a calamitous error in yeah. him. But now I don't get that. I, I haven't got those. I'm not saying he won't, but you don't get the feeling that he has. Does no, make, no. I don't know if you feel the same because, you know, I don't think I'd change that back three now. No, I wouldn't change it at the moment. No. Okay. Uh, how was the KFC, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> Spot on, mate. It was a big box, that was. What did you have? I had two boxes. Oh my <laughs> life! Uh, that's a that's a cracker. Right, so uh, put your thinking cap on if, in a minute, Alex, because I'm going to come to you for your preferred formation and lineup uh, in a minute. So you can, uh, if you just just have some some sort of idea of what you'd like what you'd what you'd like Parky to do um, with the players that are currently available. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the key. Um, uh, the the reserve game might have fired up Marius. Yeah. It won't have done him any harm, but I, yeah. I think that that reserve team had 16 and 17 year olds in it. And Jack Marriott, yeah. the flip side is Jack Marriott might have been thinking to himself, What the bloody hell am I doing here? Playing against 16 and 17 year olds and not, uh, not you know, getting anywhere near the first team. So there's uh, that'll depend yeah. on how, how he is as an individual. Uh, you might have given him a bit of confidence getting the goals though. Yeah, he'll get he'll get a little bit of that from playing from training though as well. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think we're just getting we're gonna get we're getting more KFC comments now, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Was it chips and not some sort of salad? No, 
Definitely chips. Oh, Would yeah. never get salad from a takeaway place. Because. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jesse says she'd like to be able to see the reserve matches. Yeah, Jesse, you'll watch any game. That's the that's the thing. Uh, they're not very high intensity those games normally, um, and they're not necessarily normally fun to watch. However, even if they put the highlights up, Alex, it'd be quite interesting, don't you think? Yeah, it would have been nice to see the six goals. Or sorry, seven goals we scored on Wednesday. Um, Apart from the match report, I don't know anything about the quality of the goals, what they were like, who got the assists. You'd like to think there was some some decent goals in there. Um, yeah, it's probably an agreement between the two teams to not show footage of reserve matches mm, just in right. case there's trialists or new tactics being trialed, things like that. Yeah, they don't want to let, and you don't want to, you don't want to let on if a player's got a knock and been injured. Yeah. Uh, and potentially you might have been wanting to bring him back and you might not. So, um, so yeah. Um, who do you drop for, for McLean in midfield when he comes back? That's a tough question. It is a tough question. We won't answer that question today, maybe, um, because obviously he's not available for Grimsby. But, uh, you know, we will uh, we will address it at, at some point. Um, uh, we've missed McLean in midfield. He's been a revelation and integral to our play. Um yeah, I'd say he's been much better in midfield. Um, I'm not sure I would say a revelation as such, but uh, I think uh, I'd be, it'll be interesting to see tomorrow if maybe tomorrow will tell us a bit more. If we get another flattish performance like Tranmere, then you might say he is a driving force in it, Emma. Yeah, is, isn't George Evans back tomorrow? No, George Evans, they've said, is back in. I think he's back on the grass properly next week, I think he said. Ah, uh, yeah. So yeah, um, that's another question as well, isn't it? Is yeah. you know who you're gonna you know bring in probably for the Mansfield game, but I think having McLean in there, I don't know, he just gives a bit of good energy in there, you know, back into. Yeah. Uh, so Brian's what Brian is. Uh, Brian's looking for a four four two or a four three three. So Brian, tend me your lineup, and I'll put it into the what should we call it? We'll put it. The, we'll call it the supercomputer. Uh, send me. Tell me who. Who and where, and I'll put it in, and let's let people have a look at it and see see what we think. Unless Alex beats you to it, because Alex Alex looks like a four three three man to me. Um, lots of people think Lee needs a break. Um, I think we mentioned this the other night, Alex. So, the problem is, who do you bring in? <laughs> so that's the and, and with you know, it's not like we can afford to let somebody play themselves fit now. Yeah, exactly. Probably the only real like for like swap we have in the squad who's fit is Jordan. Well, I say fit is um is Jordan Davis. We're still not hundred percent if he's match fit, so yeah. to speak. Um I did like the look of McLean when he played there. Um can't remember which match, but he does give you something different. Um but I agree with what you said, Matt. I think Elliot Lee is probably the best number 10 in the league when he is a number 10 yeah i don't like it when he's our deepest midfielder um yeah. playing in and around the halfway line it's just a waste of his talents he's a player who's nimble good on the ball can pick a pass and his quality suit that sort of final 30 yards when we're in and around goal so you're spot on he's wasting his energy running around in midfield yeah and it's like, frustrating yeah. Like Mullen does it as well sometimes. Mullen plays as a central yeah. midfielder when we need him yeah. in the penalty yeah. box. Gets frustrated, um, doesn't he, and drops. Yeah. 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 Um, it's yeah. a classic, classic thing. And that's only because he wants to do well. Um uh, but it's it was interesting listening to the, one of those um uh one of those podcasts. It might have been the Notts County one, the Magpie Circle, because um Macaulay Langstaff's dad. Yeah, I, I listened, <laughs> it was watching and listening in. Who actually has a YouTube channel? Um, uh, I can't remember, was it called The Little Farmer or something? Farmers, he, yeah, the fact Little got, Farmers, something wasn't it? All right, maybe if you search it, he's got a YouTube channel. Um, but they were talking about that and saying that Macaulay Langstaff had been told oh. by Luke Williams, um, basically, don't don't leave the width of the 18 yard box and stay right up the pitch. Um, and we see that in the games, don't we? Which is why we give him stick for never getting involved in the game. But he's been told by his manager to stay there, you see, so that when the chance does come, you're in the right place. So that's the yeah. flip side to the to the to, to the way of looking at it, isn't it? 
they did say about um, uh, Luke Williams has said that he wants him to go to Swansea. Well, yeah, <laughs> I said there was. I, I think wherever Luke Williams goes, that yeah. chap is always going to follow him now, don't you? It's always going to be. Are you going to sign? Langstaff or Jody Jones or yeah. anybody else good. They probably haven't got anybody else good enough for that level. No, yet, it's just them two. Yeah. Um. So um. Uh. Right. So uh, with with Bright Starkey, I know you like to get into the X's and O's. Um. So send me your your know, your preferred formation and lineup, and we will uh, we'll put it into the supercomputer and let people let people rip it apart like they they've probably a bit ripped mine <laughs> apart. But let's, um, Alex, when you play FIFA, I'm, I'm looking to see if he laughs to see whether he does or he doesn't play FIFA. Oh, God. When you play football manager, <laughs> right? Oh, God. Oh. When you sit at home and think, oh, I wish I, if I was Phil Parkinson, this is what I'd do. Tell me, how do we line up? Uh, Starkey's just it. Uh, you've, you've spoiled me. You've spoiled me, spoiled me surprise with me inverted wingers. Um, Tell me what you know. Uh, not that Parky's going to do this, but what what's the sort of formation that you think suits our players better, or <laughs> might give us, give us different results or little tweaks like I did in just moving Lee? What do you do? What do we do? You know what? We've seen three five two for pretty much three full seasons now. Yes, we have. So I don't know what life is like without three five two. To be honest. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was hoping you'd come up with something different so that we had the chance mm -hmm. to uh, to play around with it. Um, you know, I can't remember what 4-3-3 looks like, or what it involves. It's been that long since we saw it. Let me try, um, let me try, let me try, let me try and see if I can... Uh, wrong. If I can get it up and we'll... All right. Okay. There we go. Can you? Uh, hopefully, everybody can see that. All, all right. Okay. So you'd have to drop one of the centre backs first, and first of all. Uh, yes. Uh, so let me just put us in a some sort of four three three, right? Uh, oh God. I need to get rid of the pen marks. Let's put us in some sort of four three three, because there's different ways you can play it, and then you can then we can swap the players around, and we can see. Oh, please don't make it a diamond. No, I'm not going to make. I wasn't going to make the diamond. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna do it the proper, the prop, one of the proper ways. So don't worry too much about the names of the players that are there as such. Um, but if you tomorrow, for instance, had to play four three three, mm. who would be your back four? So it's got to be Bolton, probably, on it. I'd go Bolton and Mendy as your full backs. Yeah, yeah. And then Owen O'Connell. Yeah, right-sided centre back. And Max Clayworth, left-sided centre back. Okay, so there we go. So let's just we're just playing. We're just it's just for fun, folks. You don't have to lose your shit. <laughs> just for fun, <laughs> right? Okay, midfield. <clears throat> midfield. If he's fit, I'd yeah. have Tom O'Connor alongside Andy Cannon. Right. So here's a question. So here's so here's the first question you've got. Are you double pivoting? Right, so you see these two people here sat, being sat side by side, um, which is O'Connor and Cannon. I'm just getting rid of the drawing. They're, that's a double pivot. So are you doing a double pivot? Is, or are you playing what we do now and playing O'Connor, Cannon, and a, another midfielder, depending on who you're going to tell me in a minute? I'm going to be brutally honest and say I've not got a clue what a double pivot is. Okay, so means. it's just two players sat yeah. in position. See those two players there sat in position? Yeah. That's a double pivot, right? Those two players there, that's them, them two sat there <clears throat> is a double pivot. And normally what you'll do then is you'll play a third midfielder either <clears throat> sat defensively, but more often than not more attacking. Yeah, so there's your midfield three. Yeah, and then in our case, we might have another winger here. So that's how you can play a 4-3-3. So there's one 4-3-3. Well, I would keep the midfield like that in that case. Okay. I would have Tom O'Connor and Cannon. Yeah. The double pivot. Yeah. And Lee sort of playing in that slightly more advanced role with a bit Perfect. more freedom. 
So then your forwards, you then have another choice. Do I want to play three strikers and just let them run around? Or do I want to play like attacking midfielders and wingers? And how do I want to play them? So what you I mean what? by that, so Starkey's just taking the mick out of me because we have conversations about inverted wingers, right? So um, let me explain that in this in this instance. So let's just say for whatever reason, Mullin wasn't available, right? Uh, and Ollie Palmer is going to be our target man. Then James McLean and who else could play right mid for us tomorrow? We'd be stuck tomorrow, probably. Right. Let's just imagine it's not a day where Barney's not in, where Barney's injured. Okay. So Barney, we want Barney to run up and down this wing and get crosses in for Palmer. Yeah. That makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah. That suits his game. Uh, same with Mc, James McLean. Yeah. Up and down on the left. Yeah. Use his left foot to whip crosses in for the big man. Yeah. But where the where the uh, where the likes of uh, Luke Williams um, and some of the other managers start to get fancy is where they do what they call invert the wingers. So I've swapped. I've got my left footed winger now on the right, and instead of asking him to get down the wing and cross it, because obviously he'd be on his weaker foot, so he can do that. But actually, what we want him then to do instead is get the ball cut inwards. Do you know like Jody Jones did against us for Deck Knotts County? So yeah. cut inside. And either slot little passes through to Palmer or to, to Barnett or whip those shots in with his left foot. And then the same with Barnett, yeah? So really, you're wanting them to go towards goal, really. That would be your preference. So uh, Paul says, is this the knots yeah. <laughs> Uh yeah. Listen, it's just fun. It's just for fun, Paul. You, you, you know, you, we can all do it different. So what's your preference, Alex? Do you like crosses for a big man or do you like... <laughs> Clever tactical forwards, I guess, trying to trying to mix it up and get some shots off. Well, after the last three matches where our crossing's been absolutely awful, I think I'm more inclined to say I'd be up for seeing this inverted wingers <laughs> idea. It's not new, by the way. I haven't made this up. You start talking like I've made this up. I haven't made this up. This is you watch I watch Arsenal you Man City. You watch Phil Foden. Phil Foden for Man City plays in this this right hand side here. Um, so that's uh, that's what he does. Um, you could also play Lee in one of those wide positions. Yep, absolutely. Coventry away last season, he played left wing and he scored a cross slash that's shot. Correct. So that was a, that was a bit lucky, granted, but that's what you're asking those players to do. Yeah, cut in, and then you you can either play little one twos, play little passes through for a, for a forward to shoot, or you can have cross come shot. And just cause chaos, basically. So when yeah. pe people say, "I'm not really sure what we could do to create to create more opportunities and shots," like on Saturday, I think we talked about this on the podcast. All we did on Saturday was run up and down the wing and try and cross, didn't we? Yeah. Do you remember us saying that, Alex? And you were like, "Yeah, we we basically just repeated ourselves, and it wasn't working." So, yeah. you know, there are changes that we can make. Um, and these are these are on these are very low level changes that that are, are in the grand scheme of things that football managers have to sort of deal with. Um, so you know there are lots of ways we can we can play this. And I you know as I said, there's not just one there isn't just one way that wins a football match, is there? There's loads of different ways to uh, to see what's going on. <laughs> yeah, sorry Jesse, the dots are a bit small. I can't I, mean, I, can't, I can't do that. Uh, Mad Al said, "Why not go four two four or a false nine? So, um, yep, yeah. Mad Al, send us your send it through. We'll we'll uh, we'll we'll put it up. Um, Marriott could play on the right. Um, so, depending on um, depending on how you're playing, that is very true. Um, you see, uh, lots of people. I do, you see, you'll see it on Alex uh, Alex on Facebook because I know you're in a lot of the sort of Wrexham groups where people say play play." People who criticize the 352 and then say play 433 or whatever. Um, but if you wanted to play Mullin up top instead of uh instead of Palmer or Fletcher or Dolby or whoever your favorite is, I'm not sure having Barnick down here and McLean down here so much is necessarily beneficial because they're looking to cr cross the ball to him. And obviously Mulls isn't the biggest, is he? So you've got one of two options there. What can you remember what you said on on Wednesday about what you'd like to see the fullbacks do? I'll give you a clue. It begins with a C. Cut. 
cutbacks. Okay. So you can play McLean bombing down here, but instead of whipping crosses craply across the box, they would work in training on right moles. If if you get if we get down the wing, we need you running towards the penalty spot or where whatever the spot is for cutbacks, yeah. And all of a sudden that can work. So there's loads of different things to uh, uh, that that we can do different. That uh, these are, these are not complicated. This isn't you know Pep Guardiola would laugh at this low level of uh, inferior knowledge. He's forgotten more than we know. But there are the the point is there are these things that we can do to. Uh, to, to try and make things better, and interestingly, I think Mad Al says, "Let's not have, uh, let's keep Elliot Lee off the corner kicks." That would, yeah, that would be a definitely. good start, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, because that is uh, that is a uh, a problem for us. Uh, Paul says needs seventy five percent possession tomorrow. Um, I think we need some expand on that. What What do you think he, he means by that? You'll have to explain that one to us, because. Yeah. Um, I need to understand why we need 75%. Is that because you think Grimsby are, uh, are dangerous on the counter-attack, so we need loads of possession, or do we need to dominate the football because that's how you want us to play? Yeah, I'm interested. We, we dominated possession with Tram here, and then mm. obviously we didn't get nothing from the game, so I think you just right. got to, you know, like you say, all... Yeah. Love that. So but... here's a question. Um Alex, do you think Wrexham normally dominate the football? Mm, probably not, to be honest. No. no. I don't know, what do you think? The possession stats, but I don't think we've ever had more than probably 60% in a match. And it's rare you? that we dominate it more than the opposition. No. Definitely. Do you agree, Emma? Yeah, definitely. Right. So the reason I asked that question is Parkinson in his in his uh, in an interview after Tramir said, we're a better side when we dominate the football. But we don't play like that. Because if you want to dominate the football, that means control the football more than the opposition. You wouldn't be knocking long balls because that is immediately that becomes a 50-50 at best chance of winning the ball back. Instead, yeah. you're passing it into feet. So I thought that was a really weird comment that he made. Um, yeah. Because I don't think we really take the game to them, do we? Correct. Correct. It's... it's oh. uh, I think we're we're better, we're more effective when we don't have the ball. It's weird, yeah. Uh, and then we counter and go direct. Um, yeah. So I'm interested, Paul. But let us know why you think we need 75 percent possession. But what Emma said is true, and Alex, you'll you'll know this as well. That possession is is his, it can, that can punch that can punch you in the eye. That can it possession. You can have all the possession in the world and lose one nil. Look at Notts County. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's not just it's not as simplistic as just having the ball. You've got to then be effective as well, haven't you? Um, because we have a lot of the we had a lot of the ball with Tranmere, yeah? and it yeah. was it was it was Nothing. kind of passing for the sake of passing. It wasn't it. It wasn't sort of uh, I don't know. It wasn't effective. We weren't creating those effective chances. So um, so yeah. Um, uh, let's see what uh, some other people say. Elliot Lee, no, oh, well, we've had that one. Jesse saying I have to give a warning. It did, did. Does your stat program tell us how much of our possessions Saturday was Mendy? Uh, no, uh, I'm not sure you get a possession just for an individual. Individual. Uh, Aaron said he'd like four two three one next. Uh, I've got no context on that, but uh, send me through your four two three one, Aaron, and I. But I'll set it up on here. So. Um, because that is kind of the four three three and the four two three one are kind of oh go away you lines, the four three three and the four two three one are very very similar. Instead of having such high, these players instead of them playing the forward, they have a bit more defensive responsibility, so they sit in the three there. So, um, but yeah, send me your four, send me your what players you'd pick, Aaron. Um, because that is another four two three one and four three three are the common formations you'll see in our league. Um, who can tell me what the original dominant formation was? Everybody knows it. It was the name four, of a magazine. Two. Who said that? <clears throat> me. Yeah, four four two was the dominant one. And do you know mm. why? Go on. Because uh, statistically. If you sort of if you sort of graph it up and map it up, a four four two covers eighty percent of the pitch, so um, it covered more areas than uh, than any other formation. So that's why managers liked it originally. Um, 
And it was only latterly, as we started to want to control the football, that people started to bring in that third man into centre midfield instead um, and sort of control the ball rather than control the pitch, if that makes sense. So, uh, so yeah. Um, this tactic stuff's probably boring people now. So, shall I shut that window down? <laughs> probably getting fed up. Um, I'm happy with 10% possession if it means we win. Yeah, I'm not sure we'd be happy at the time, though, would we, watching a team have 90% possession? Uh, that's the only... Cause that might give you a few grey airs, um, is, the, uh, is, the, is the thing. Um, Paul said, Forest Green, we had a lot. Yeah. 70%-ish, um, I think he said. Uh, no, I get what you're saying, Paul, about the Nos fucker. It is a, uh, it is uh, you know they do love that. Well, they it's the possession thing for them that they love in it. They uh, they do yeah. love that. Uh, it was being flippant. Uh, Wales win. I think we got a Wales win. Please, yes, we uh, contrast on pass it. Now I didn't see the Wales game, Alex. Did you see any of it? Yeah, yeah. caught most of it. I saw the score. Um, so. Uh, you're not going to be able to tell me what Wales played, but let's. I'm going to have a look. What? What? Can you tell me what Wales played? Uh, is it a three-five-two? Oh, so they, may, they might be like us. Then is that what Rob Page is doing? I think so. All right, I'm, I'm going to have a look and just see. Uh, oh, it was Finland, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Was it a friendly? No, it was a qualifier. Yeah. So why is that not on? Euros semi final qualifier. Yeah. So weirdly, that's not on the Who Scored website. Why would they not put them on? I think that's a bit weird. Hmm. They don't seem to like Wales for some reason. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look at Fop Mob. See if they tell us what Wales were playing, just so Jesse can uh, get some context. Okay, Wales. You just fill in, folks. I'll do all the. 4 1, there we go. Have you got some. Ah, there we go. Ooh, that's interesting. Right, so just as another. You can you'll have to verify whether this is right or not, really, uh, Alex. So that was the starting formation. So technically, they call that a three. That's that. That's a three. We can call it what you want, really. You can either be a three-four-three or a three-four-two-one because they play Wilson and Brooks just behind Johnson. Yeah, that sound about right. Brennan Johnson plays up front on his own. <laughs> um, Brooks and Wilson are like attacking midfielders. Yeah, one might push further forward and it becomes a 3 5 2. So that's the bit of tactical flexibility, which is even better if you've got a formation that will allow you to do it. Um, it allows you to do those changes. So, um, so yeah, Brooke, they gave Brooks man of the match. Was he uh, Was he man of the match? Just, just out of interest. There was a few contenders, to be fair. Um, but I would give it to Brooks just about his early goal. <laughs> Set the tone of the match. Um, then he was everywhere after that, creating chances, putting himself about in midfield. And it's a good story as well, because not many people will know this, but he yeah. actually had cancer. That's right. Um, Bour Bournemouth is that, is he? Yeah, he's at Bournemouth. Um, he might be on loan at someone now. But I think it was about two years ago he was diagnosed, he recovered, come back, and now he's scoring goals for Wales in... Euro qualifier semi final, yeah. so yeah. it's a nice story. Yeah, cool. Um, so to, uh, the to to say, uh, to say that to answer Jesse, we we don't play a dissimilar formation, um, but it might be how Wales. What, what what sort of how do Wales play, Alex? Floor a lot of short, similar to us, and they go. I mean, the fact they've got Brennan Johnson, he's sub six foot, I think, but he's fast. So I imagine that they would uh, not be knocking long balls for him to hold up and try and bring other people in, but they might knock long balls over the top for him to chase. Yeah, that's it. It's quite a direct style of play. When you've got Dan James as well, he's probably one of the quickest players. He was the quickest at one point, wasn't he? he? Wasn't he? Quickest. He was at one point. He, I think he topped the clock speeds of uh, of Premier League players at one point. 
I think he can do 100 metres in about 11 and a half seconds, which is... Just just, o- just over Olympic sort of speeds, because they're just sub-10, aren't they? Oh, well, yeah. He's only a second off Olympic pace, which yeah. um, which tells you everything about him. And it was his pace that got him a goal yesterday as well. Right. Um, but, yeah, not too dissimilar to Wrexham, to be honest. It's get the ball out wide, get your good players around the penalty box and... Actually, it is quite, probably a little different to Wrexham because Wrexham probably play more crosses than Wales. Um, so yes and no. That's okay. a cop out answer. Well done. Uh, I'll I'll just get that. I'll, I'll I'll do I'll do Aaron the service of getting the tactics board out again. Just and I, I know I know everybody's really excited. So uh, Aaron likes Fletcher up top. Let's see, here we go. This is what we're doing. Liam behind him, which is what we've got. Mullin on the left wing. Oh, 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 oh. Bolton right wing. I'm all for Bolton on the right wing. I think he would suit that. Yeah, okay. Uh, Tom O'Connor and Cannon behind, which is what we've got. Mendy left back. Owen O'Connell, Clareworth. Hayden right back. That's interesting. That is interesting. Okay. There we go. So now, uh, you're very lucky. Emma is going to tell you everything that's wrong and right about your formation. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of funny. Oh, a camera's gone off. Where's she gone? Uh, um. So, uh, if you came up against that, if, you, if that was the formation that we came out with, how would we feel? Be nice on Aaron's feelings now, don't we? Uh, you know. Personally, I'd prefer Palmer up top. Okay, that's all right. You're allowed to do. You're allowed. Yeah. To, you're allowed your own players that you like. Uh, the controversial one, I guess, is pushing Mullin out. Mullin, to the left. yeah. Is that the? Uh, I could see him doing that because he does that, doesn't he? Like, yeah. like we said before, when we go with that, uh, with that, with Parky's diamond, he does that. Yeah. Um, but that's an interesting one. Now, that's not to say it can't work. Just we're not used to seeing that. And is Paul yeah. Mullin in? Is he in the best places for Paul Mullin? No, that's, probably that's not. The question uh, I would. Th- you might get more joy there. Oh. You might get more joy out of that. Um, but that's what you. Uh, that's what you like. <coughs> See, it's not just about where you put the players. It's about what you're asking them to do. What role am I asking them to do? And how how am I getting them to those? The, to those positions and, and those the rest of it's okay Hayden at right back Alex worth a, worth a go not for me no. should I tell you should I tell, oh, oh, there is a complicated there's a really complicated way if we were a Premier League side you realise Aaron Hayden would be playing there don't you why because uh, uh, Premier League sides the top Premier League sides now have gone to play in four centre backs across the back four so Arsenal do it with Ben White. And... Ben White. And uh, at the moment, it's Jakub uh, Kvio, the Polish centre-back. Kvio, yeah. Because he's covering for Zinchenko. Uh, is, is Zinchenko, I think, is the uh, he's injured all the time. Um, so, yeah, they like the height and the physicality. And obviously, they're really good footballers, aren't they? You know, these are pretty... You know, these are very good footballers. And there's the... There's the... Um, there's the modern way of inverting your centre-backs... Inverting your fullbacks, which is uh, a, a, on another level to what we've done when we've talked about tactics. Um, so that you know, like Liverpool, like to get Trent now playing in centre midfield. I don't know if you're aware of that. He'll start at right back, and they will work a system so he ends up actually sitting just by here, uh, and they'll move other players. So that's so, uh, what well, the Parky actually say then with the formation when he was. So basically, ah. in in that article, it's actually a free to read article. Um, oh, is it? You, I think you just have to register. Ah. Have, I just I just clicked on my Google account and it just and it and it let me in. So you didn't have to pay. Yeah. Um, but basically, it says, um, he says, uh, it's when he first came to Wrexham, it was the formation yeah. that suited the players that we had and that we got in. Yeah. Which I found interesting because I seem to remember, correct me if I'm wrong, when he first came to Wrexham, 
he, I seem to remember that, that fake quote about where's all the centre-backs because we'd let all the centre-backs go. So yeah. I don't understand how you end up with a formation where you need three centre-backs. Um, so, yeah, so basically he said, he said that was the formation that he kind of settled on through what we had and what we brought in. Um, and he said that we don't always play 3-5-2. Sometimes when the opposition have the ball, um, we have to we we change formation sometimes when they've got the ball so we don't just sit in a 352 sometimes yeah. he said we go to 433 so um yeah that was that that was kind of basically what he said that he sort of you know brushed it I under think, the carpet yeah. a little bit i think so though when like obviously when you're playing certain teams like Tranmere, which really they didn't offer anything going up yeah you know do we really need, you know, everyone sitting deep no. rather than, you know, pushing up, basically? If, like Grimsby, they're not going to be a team that scores a lot of goals. No, I get that. Um, and may, maybe we'll answer that question in a minute. We'll come on to what we could, what we, what can we do to break that uh, the, that block? But let's just while Alex Alex has got two minutes left, uh, just <laughs> Alex is keen to tell us about crew tickets. The fact you've got a crew ticket makes me angry that I haven't. Uh, I'm fed up of this. I haven't had I haven't had any luck in ages on these away tickets. But go on, tell us about your experience with crew tickets then. Well, you know what? I feel like a bit of a fraud because I actually got crew tickets, but I've only been to three, possibly four away games this season. Yeah. And I appreciate there's people who've gone up and down the country week in, week out on Tuesday nights in midweek. Um, but without a loyalty scheme or anything like that, it's it is what it is. It is what it is. It's a free for all. Certainly not complaining, but mm. I think we saw today on Twitter Stockport have got a an away sort of loyalty scheme, haven't they? Where people who have been to fifteen or more away games this season have first dibs yeah. on the Wrexham away game, which is the last game of the season, which of course will probably have something riding on it. Um, so yeah, very happy to get the tickets, but sympathize with the people who have done all the away trips on the majority of them this season who've not managed to get one. They must be very disappointed. The thing is, how do you, uh, just before you go, have you got another minute? Yeah. How do we, so how do, because it, it, it's like, it's really unfair to introduce a system when people uh, like you, at the end of the season, you can't just go. Everybody who went to fifteen or twenty games last season, whatever the number is, have first dibs to start with. How, how do you introduce a system? Because whatever you do, people are going to moan about, aren't they? Yeah. You know what? There's no perfect way of doing it. We want to keep the club an open shop um, for everyone. What you might see, and this is what happens with a lot of teams who have loyalty schemes. People will buy that ticket yeah. with no intention of going to the match. They just want the loyalty points. Yeah, of course, so. yes. You've just got it. So they keep it for when the games they do want to go to. Exactly. Yeah. So someone will miss out on an away game because someone said, right, I want the points, but I've got no intention of actually going. Yeah. So there's issues, like you say, with anything you do. But on this occasion, I do feel for people who've been to all of the matches, but in what could be a, a league decider, a promotion decider. Yeah. Won't be there to see it. Um, but there's no... There's no magic answer, especially with the grounds of the sizes that they are yeah. type of thing. That's the, the issue. To be yeah. honest with you, uh, I was waiting for the club, to be honest, at the start of the season to say, oh, do you want priority access to away tickets? Well, give us 75 quid for a away membership something or other and you get first dibs in you get you know you get put into the first dibs tin or something that's what i was waiting for that money grab uh, but that never came either so um there'd be uproar if that was the case uh, i think there's uproar there's getting, there's uproar anyway there's meltdowns isn't there so uh, so yeah all right well if you need to dip if you need to uh, jump out mate you, uh, you you jump out and i will speak to you on wednesday following a win he says <laughs> yeah Enjoy the match tomorrow if we'll you're going, mate. listening, yeah. watching. All right, mate. All right. See you later. Cheers, buddy. Bye. Bye. Um, 
Aaron, uh, Aaron says that Hayden has played right back for us a few times earlier in the year when we've when we've went down to ten men. I think he's better there than in the centre back in the back three. Um, yeah, I think uh, it's a very different. It's, it's a it's a very dem- playing an actual fullback is very demanding on the body, and I'm not sure Aaron Hayden's got the body for that. Emma, it breaks down no. now. Never mind playing at a full as a fullback and needing to sort of bomb on a bit and support so yeah um i uh i think somebody said i did see somebody talk about cleworth uh cleworth again he's got the he's got the ability to play a modern right back role because he is physical as well but we're you know those are those are premier league and and championship players that are doing those sort of things not our level it's a bit more we're a bit more simple at our level aren't we yeah, I mean it's a it's a shame really. We got so many good players, and it's trying to keep everybody happy at the same time, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's and that's the Parky's job, isn't it? That's what he has to yeah. do. He has to uh, keep everybody uh, keep everybody in check and try and share the minutes. Um, yeah. Give uh, Brian says give Bolton and Lee free run up the side, depending on what side we are moving up the field. I don't want Elliot Lee running up the side. I want him in the middle of the park. Um, yeah, that's where he is is best. Is in that. Uh, Creative midfield role. Um, um, this is uh, this made me laugh. Uh, sometimes when they have the ball, we switch to a one-five-four. Goddamn Andy Cannon! <laughs> 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 That's in reference to Andy Cannon being the last defender the other oh, day. I hope um, that never happens again. I just, I mean, from a size point of view, I can understand why he wouldn't be forward for a set piece. It's just. To be fair, he's there. He's got the pace and everything. He's there on the ball. I can still yeah. see it now in my head. He's there. He just, just, just a bit of yeah. indecision whiffs at it, as we call it. You know, just whiffs it, doesn't he? Um, that is Sheldon, I think. Good evening, Sheldon. Um, I think that's who that is. He's joined us on YouTube. Uh, and just going on to tickets. Maybe the away tickets can be percentage from last game. Guarantee another ticket, or do they? Or do the buy three ticket scheme thing again? But what was the? T- that was low. Um, yeah, I was, it's like Alex said. There's no magic answer that will upset. Whatever they do will upset somebody. Yeah. Um, have you renewed your season ticket, by the way? So it's just, I haven't as yet, but I will be. Yeah. yeah. I did. I did mine and Owens the other day, uh, yesterday, just yeah. to get it out of the way and have no yeah. issue. So, uh, yeah, so we'll be doing it. Yeah. Um, John said I was the marathon training. Thank you, John, for reminding me every time. Um, <laughs> it's uh, it's going all right. I've, I've, I'm running on Sunday this week, where I'm hoping to do uh, eight between eighteen and twenty miles this week. Um. So that'll be four and a, four hours or something. So uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Oh, we've got a Grimsby fan on Emma. Oh uh, yeah, here. This has just popped up into my feed. How is it going? I have no idea. Oh, I guess it's got Grimsby. <laughs> it's got Grimsby in the com in the title. So that's yeah. the only that's the only reason I think we've appeared in your in your feed. Uh, somehow, I promised I haven't paid YouTube to put me in Grimsby feeds. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, we, uh, we're all right. I think we're we're wary about tomorrow. Tell us what your think thoughts are tomorrow. Um, HC Stormer, whatever that means. Uh, yeah. Tell us how you're feeling about tomorrow. What you think the score's going to be? Who's the danger men? Although I have listened to all the podcasts this week, like you have Emma, probably where they they seem to be more of a team effort this lot than than uh, reliant on individuals. Yeah. So did have you watched our cells? Yeah. Interviews. Team match as well. Yeah. 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 I watched that today. I think that was I was painting yeah. today, so uh, I had I had them all going today. Um, and I start I put the Mansfield one on today to get a feel for next week, week to see how yeah. they're what they're thinking, which I think is quite interesting because um, Nigel Clough did a sit down end of season thing with yeah. fans last night. I don't know if you uh, saw yeah. any of this. No, I haven't and seen it. It's come to light that he's basically he's uh, it, you'd have to rewatch the video but I'm told this is in the video and in this interview he basically said to the to the to the board or the owners of Mansfield that if they don't go if, if they go up this season he'll stay for another year if they don't yeah. go up he'll happily walk away and let somebody else ah. do it if that's what they want oh, so his contract must be up his yeah. contract must be up. I think it's got like if he gets promoted, I think he's automatically got an option for another year. Yeah. Um, 
So, uh, so yeah, we will uh, we'll see. Um, oh, I saw a lot of this the other day. What's been the issue with seats getting double booked for games? I've ever, have you seen any of that on Facebook? Loads of it at the no. weekend. Yeah, no. so there was somebody basically said um, they they got their tickets printed out. They were in their seats. Yeah. Somebody else came wanting to get into one of the seats, I think. And when they compared the tickets, uh, you know, looking for the obvious error that, yeah. you know, it wasn't. They had been double booked. And then underneath oh, that nice. post, loads of people had said, oh, I've had that happen. I've had that happen. I've had that happen. So there's something something awry with the so well, Ticketmaster software or whoever we're using. Um, there's something, uh, something going on there. Yeah, um, it's strange. No, I haven't seen any of that. Uh, question for games to be found. How's Artel doing? Like him, sack him. Uh, I, I so. think he's done well, he's he has done well for them since they've come since he's come in. Yeah, that's what the uh, uh, you're welcome to come and chat with us, by the way. If you're uh, if you're a brave Grimsby fan, you can uh, you can come and uh, you can come on and uh, just have a quick word with us if you're feeling brave. I've put the link in the comments so you can uh, you can come and join us for a minute or two. Um, but he said he absolutely loved the guy and backed him from the start. I reckon he'll take us far. So he's, he has given us a bit more here as well. Overall, yeah. I reckon tomorrow will be a low-scoring game. Uh, that was my that was my guess as yeah. well. But we have given up our attacking base style for a strong, compact defence. However, do not be fooled. We can play some very attractive and fast football. That's the opposite of what we want to hear because when teams park the bus, we don't seem <laughs> to be able to break them down at the moment. No. Uh, we potentially therefore overcommit. And if you can play some, what you're classing as fast football, I think might be sort of uh, like counter-attacky type football. Um, then uh, then we're potentially walking into a hornet's nest tomorrow with somebody who knows us very well. Two well, people yeah. that know us because Pierce yeah. is there as he well. Is and he's the assistant. So and yeah. they will yeah. they will know exactly how to pay, take us off tomorrow. That's why I'm that's why I was really nervous. Um so uh, oh he's not that brave. I don't, know, he's not that brave. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen Palmer's in, uh, did a piece in the leader tonight. I didn't know, I haven't uh, seen it. Go on, give us the gist. It, he he was just saying that um for the fans thinking that they've played bad away games, he was saying when you look at it, they haven't really played bad away, basically. And right. he's back he's backing them to, he's backing Wrexham to go full throttle kind of thing. But he was saying it's not as bad a way as what people are making out. Um okay. I'm not <laughs> sure I buy that so much, but um no. it's uh, I think it, performances as well, isn't it? You know. Yeah, I said I said on the podcast this week that I'm not surprised by where we are at the moment because we don't yeah. change from home and away, we play the same way. Yeah. So if if you've got if errors creeping in or if if people are figuring you out then they'll figure you out whatever you're doing at home or away it doesn't matter because they're just no. figuring out your way of playing playing so that, yeah that's the concern for me um, yeah i just want to check this message uh... I just, well seeing trammy a win and what it meant to the fans i'm just hoping oh. we can put that into the next own game yeah and um mm. We're going to the mouse win beforehand because Lee Trundles are. Oh, you're going to see Lee, are you? Yeah. Oh, that'll be a, that'll be a good good chat. Yeah, um, I thought be... so. He'll worked up on it, ready for the game then. <laughs> yeah, it, it'll be uh, it'll be a really good chat. Uh, uh, Jesse said, "I've got hope." I don't. I, I you you. I, Jesse was here for the last game. I don't know if you uh, happened to bump into her around town. No, or but I did see. Yeah. Uh... So she was here. So I've got homework. The the Atlantic are now the leader. You should also try the Athletic because that might have more. I <laughs> might have some more yeah. football in it than the Atlantic. <laughs> uh, if you want to get in the Atlantic, though, Jesse, that's up to you. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, let's just see what. Uh, no problem. I was there that day in the playoffs, but we'll never forgive Mullin for that hand of God. Other than that, <laughs> quite like how similar our clubs are in history and size. It's going to be a cracker. Well, we don't forgive your goalkeeper for wiping out. Yeah. Price Hosanna? Yes, it was, yeah. Have I, have I got that right? Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, we was, yeah. We don't forgive him either. So, uh... Oh, it was just awful, that game. Oh. oh, I said this again. I said it's one of the only games. It might be the... Uh, I think it's the only game I've ever really left. 
yeah. early because I was oh. like devastated. Could just yeah. tell it. You could, you know, when you can feel that a game's got away from you, you just can't see yourself scoring. No, um, it's. I felt bad for days afterwards. Yeah, yeah. I just, yeah. I never want to go. That's why I'm, I'm hoping that we can get some points now. I don't really want it going right down to the last game. You know it's going yeah. to, though, don't you? you I know. know. <laughs> I think whoever's put them fixtures together has thought the same thing. It is coincident. Well, I mean, it's, but then we didn't expect Crew to be up there. No. I'm not sure if anybody picked Mansfield to be winning the league, but you might have put them in the promotion mix. Yeah. So yeah, it, it is, it's great, though. That's fine. The players will love it. They'll yeah. love it playing in those big games. Uh, be awesome. <laughs> Uh, Mad Al says Ollie must have a different league table to everybody else. Well, I, I don't think he was talking about the league. I, it wasn't results. It was performance that um, em, Emma said. Um, but let, listen, I've been to some of those games and some of those games we've stunk the joint out. Um, but some of them we've won and some of them we've lost. So, yeah, you know, um, that is just, uh, you know, that is what it is. Uh, Paul says Grimsby did us a favour. I'm not sure how they... In the, oh, I think I'd, I'd tell you what I might yeah. mean. The way um, we won this time, wasn't it? Then we got to we've got to sort of got the excitement of the league season the the, the after. So we, I think uh, I can't remember if I heard that on one of the podcasts or not. Yeah, well, Notts County could do us a favour this time if they beat Stockport at their place. Yeah, the problem is I don't know if you've if you watch the highlights and stuff of Notts. There, they've picked up four points this week. I don't, yeah, they, Chatter, they played yeah. played well at Bradford, but I, yeah. but I think Bradford were just a mess. Yeah. I think anybody could have beat them, um, to be honest. Um, so I wish they bloody did. Well, <laughs> they I mean, I, I, away as well at their place. I mean, yeah. we took the lead. But and... different, different team, different players, yeah. different situation. Everybody, yeah. you know. Um, so that's the uh, that's the thing from uh, from that. So I don't know. Um, all right. Well, listen, we've got. Have, have we give? Have we give? Have we give predictions? No, I don't think so. So I said, I said, I, I stand by. Somebody's going to win this game one nil. I don't know if it's necessarily going to be us, Kim. That what you said is spot on. Kim is here. Um, uh, I think if we're going to win it, the goal is going to come from. See, when you can't even confidently predict who a goal's going to come from, yeah, you're in a bit of a mess, aren't you? I'm going to go for 2 0, I am. And who's going to score? I think Mullen will score, and I'm going to say that Marriott is going to come off the bench and get his first goal. Yeah, I want a sub. I want a sub. I need, I need a sub to score. And I think Marriott might be. Let's be confident. Let's give. Let's, let's yeah. hope that Jack Marriott has picked something up this week. Yeah. And he comes on and he scuffs one into the bottom corner somehow off yeah. his backside. Just, yeah. I don't care how it goes in. No, <laughs> it's like... I, I think he just needs that first goal. I do, just like yeah. Mullen did okay. when he was came back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. And um, I think we need something from tomorrow to go into that game next week with a bit of confidence. I think. Uh, uh, just Kim's point here: scoring less than a goal per game away for a team with the quality of Wrexham is the very definition of bad. Yeah, well, that you know that is that. Unfortunately, for what Ollie's. Ollie's trying to defend publicly the team yeah. and the manager. The reality is that uh, fans aren't necessarily fools and they can see yeah. with their own eyes what's good and what's bad, can't they? So, you know, yeah. if you asked everybody what what they thought of the away performances, not the results, the performances, people would go, yeah. not great. Um, and if you look at the away form table, we are, what, mid-table in it? Yeah. So that's not great. For a team that's probably as expensive, if not the most expensively assembled team in the league. So, um, you know, it's quite right that people should expect better performances and better results. Yeah. Um, but they strange, should support. Really. Yeah. It's strange, really, because, you know, we all have the moan of different things, but we're yeah. still up. So... It could be worse. <laughs> yeah, and that that's that's what makes people disappointed. Yeah, is the fact that they know if we'd have had our act together this year. Yeah, we might have been six to nine points clear now. Yeah, I think a lot of the games when you think like the Bradford run away or yeah. you know, and the Bradford run at home, we played, we didn't play bad that game, and then yeah. it was just a sucker. 
confident. But if yeah. we did take that chances, I think. But I think we're so used to winning, like when we won the National League, it's very rare that we didn't win. And I think now we've become a bit accustomed to it. But this year, I think, you know, you have seen a balance. You are going to lose games. It's just inevitable. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think... I, th- I think a lot a lot of the time people accept that we will lose games and they'll accept yeah. losing. What I see is a lot of people disappointed by how we lose. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that could be just because I see... I, You know, we follow certain people on social media, so they... Yeah, we, you know, perhaps it's just those people, but it's more the fact that we you know, like Saturday, that wasn't the way to lose a derby game. No, it? I think Parky said in the leader tonight that he just wants the players to, to take away the Tramia game and go to Grimsby without that obviously loss in the red. But I suppose it's you know, you're not yeah. you're not always going to be able to when you've just lost in a way in that way basically, but. It made me laugh when they were shouting to Mullen, uh, try me a reject. I mean, I'm sure he'd rather have him than what the, what they've got up front like. Yeah, I saw somebody on Twitter talking. They might have tweeted, might have quote tweeted him or something or whatever they'd done. And I just remember thinking, listen, you can keep Connor Jennings and the rest of them. I'll have yeah. Mulls all day, thank you. Oh, yeah. No problem. You don't want no. him. You don't think he's any good. That's fine. I'll keep him. Um, because as far as I'm concerned, you know, he, he'll be if he if we stays here for another few years, he's going to yeah. be mural worthy or statue worthy, isn't he? You know, yeah. Um, yeah. So that's fine, no problem. If they if they don't want him, we're, we're yeah. happy. Um, Definitely. Jess thinks it's two one with Fletcher and Boyle. You've got she's got something about Boyle since she's been since uh, <laughs> this last week. What's going on there? Um. Uh, John yeah. reminded us that Flet Palmer's first goal was Grimsby. Maybe he gets the winner. Yeah, there's, yeah. he used to play for Grimsby as well, I believe. I, I can't remember how long for. It might have only been a year. but uh, Yeah, it wasn't long, was it? But, uh, yeah, he's uh, and Mansfield. Well, he was there as well, wasn't he? He was at yeah. Mansfield too. Yeah. He had long hair when he was at Mansfield, you know? Have you seen yeah. the pictures? He's got long curtains. <laughs> long curtains? Yeah, that's what he had. Uh, um, I think he'll definitely want to be involved in the Mansfield game at all. Yeah, I'll be I'll be amazed if he doesn't start tomorrow. If yeah. he doesn't start tomorrow, there is definitely something between something. him and yeah. either him and Phil Parkinson or him and Steve Parkin. There's definitely yeah. something. something. They've definitely yeah. exchanged exchanged views, and that's not been very whatever's come out has not been very welcome. Because no. uh, I think it was clear to all. Um, uh, after the first half, that Fletch Fletch just wasn't on it for whatever no. reason, and therefore Ollie should probably start. I think, yeah, the only game I think he's been effective from the start is when we played Barrow, but even then, we started the game very well, just n- nothing really going until you know we, got we start three yeah, goals not going. five minutes or whatever it was. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, that uh, uh, people I forget just, that about the Barrow game. We were yeah. we were stinking the place out. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's probably the only one that up front that I'd I'd you know I'd say Mullin with Fletcher. I just think he's better as an impact. Which yeah, yeah. I'm starting to starting to agree. Um, yeah. Even though I think he's probably as good one of, if not the best footballer in yeah. our team, yeah. he's just not impactful. Always from the start, so history is telling us to bring him off the bench, isn't it? I think it. I think it is, and I think it's having that person like Palmer to win the ball, ready for Mullin. He does the work, and then Mullin scores the goals. Okay, and it just doesn't work like that with Fletcher and mm, Mullin because yeah. they both play with their feet. Uh, there's just an interesting comment. I'm not. I wonder if who who he's referring to here. I wonder if he's referring to Mullin. Uh, if Kieran Green starts, I wouldn't be surprised if he breaks his leg like a modern day Vinny Jones. Oh, that's, uh... <laughs> uh, Al says three one. I'm guessing that's to us tomorrow with it being a one three. Uh, Jess says Boyle needs someone to believe in him till he screws up again. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Uh, I mentioned Big Rex and win, but that does not cover the poor performance in recent games. Mansfield, as they came back strong after that loss, that's what we need. Okay, yeah, Mansfield are looking. No, Mansfield are the best team in the league so far. They're top of the league. They score more than anybody. 
Yeah. Even though they haven't got a real out and out real goal scorer, they concede less than anybody. And as a general rule, the I'd be amazed if they dropped out the playoffs or anything. If they messed it up now, it'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, like uh, Kayla Dunn, he, he had a piece Our of the league. player, yeah. Yeah, and he, he, to be fair, he was very respectful. He said he loved his time at Wrexham. Yeah. Um, But I think it was at the time of Dean Keats, wasn't it? We couldn't afford so. really. Yeah, we yeah. couldn't afford him to keep him. No, it yeah. was all free transfers yeah. and um, hoping that they would stay and not basically be spotted yeah. by somebody else and who'd offer them more money and stuff. Yeah, well, he's it. done well. Um, bring Fletcher on at 60 minutes, not at 80 minutes. Poor substitute. Yeah. I, think, I think that was one of the things that's um, one of the criticisms from uh, previous fans of Phil Parkinson's clubs that's been aimed at him. Yeah. Uh, I think there is an element. You have, to, you have to see what's going on in the game, to be fair, don't you? Yeah. I just but think you... if it's not working... Then change yeah. it because I think he waits and waits and he he's, he's thinking well it'll change in a minute we'll get a goal but the time just goes and then it's too late then. I it's it's an old school thing where you basically you go in the in the dressing room you tell everybody what's wrong and then yeah. you say now go out and put it right lads, right and yeah. with with modern football with having more and more subs. Um, they that started to change where mm. teams would make one or two subs at half time. I saw Stockport do it in there. Um, one of the last yeah. games I watched them play was it Salford? I think they brought two subs on at half yeah. time and got a draw out of that game. Yeah, um, and I, I was watching that. Yeah, well, I mean, against the tra on the Tramia game, we did bring about four players on, but it just Aye, about 15 minutes later, though, yeah, wasn't it? it just didn't seem to 20 do minutes. Much yeah, so the part of that problem is because. We didn't change how we played. Played, yeah. We just changed the. We just got. We threw all the attackers on and got yeah. them in a shape on the pitch, which is the four four two diamond that he likes. Yeah. Um, and then we just carried on doing the same thing. Yeah. Uh, just and, balls in the box, and it, it and just wasn't. Were, they were set up for that from yeah. the start. They knew yeah. what to expect, and I yeah. think that was the problem. We needed to play a different way. We needed to really? do something different. Not just put different people on the pitch. Yeah, um, and that's the uh, those are the those are the decisions that the managers have to make, haven't they? Um, yeah, I'll point out we have beaten Mansfield, obviously, uh, uh, once yeah. this season. Uh, but that game next that, that game a week today is we could be sat here a week today, be fourth, or we could be second. I think I've got I'll have to look at the table. Yeah, um, so if we want to go up, we, we need to be, be beating them at home. Yeah, I think, I think it's I. Th if we want to go, if we want to, I see. I want us to be champions, so I'm like, just go out. Let's go out and try and beat them, right? <laughs> let's go out and try because if you don't beat them, you might get a draw, yeah. right? That's yeah. the theory. Um, if you go out for the draw and that doesn't happen, we might get a loss. Yeah. So it's just it's awful because we're in squiffy form. Yeah, I don't mind coming first, second, or third, but I think we, we we've got to be beating teams like that at home because we can, we need to make a statement that it's like that can. North County game, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. basically, totally the same. You got to put the marker down and uh, yeah, and see. John says another away performance like Snots County two 0 to the boys. That I th I think that's the away game I've enjoyed the most this year. Um, yeah, was the Notts County one. Uh, I thought we were generally good all game, and obviously punished them with the. Uh, was a lucky. Was it the first one that was deflected or something? I, I forget. Yeah, I think it was yeah, it was. Uh, and I think uh, I don't know where I read it, but all our games now, um, all the teams that we're playing, I've got something to play for, whether it's yeah. relegation at the top or the bottom. Or, yeah, yeah. I, I think I, I, I've either heard or read the same thing. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, Al says subs at sixty give the subs time to get into the rhythm. So there is an element of that, yeah. but you, but it's got this. It has to. The flip side is that if the game is nil nil and it's tight, you don't want to make a sub then because a fresh if somebody fresh comes in, they haven't yes. quite got the concentration levels yet as well. So they because they're not in the rhythm of the game. So um, so it does depend on the situation. But if you're definitely chasing a game, I can understand why people would want an early sub. Uh, yeah. And I, would, I can understand why other people are frustrated by Parky when uh, when he seems to wait. Um, 
I, I, I totally get that. Yeah. Um, so, should we? Uh, have we had enough? Is it? It's nine o'clock. Have you had enough? <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. Uh, oh, let's just see what uh, we'll get last the last few comments and stuff. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, what other people say. The Vinnie Jones reference reminds me I haven't watched The Gentleman yet on Netflix. Yeah, so neither have I, but he is in it. Have you watched it? No, I haven't no. watched it. It's, uh, it's, he, hasn't, he hasn't done any acting for a while. I think no. he's just been living the Hollywood lifestyle, hasn't he? Um, yeah. He lives out there. Um, but I believe he, I believe it's, um, oh, it's uh, Guy Ritchie, I think, who's directed this. So, uh, uh, yeah. That's, uh, I remember that's... when he came to the race course. Who, Guy Ritchie? No, Vinnie Jones. <laughs> God, he, he was a bloody player then. He was, I'm not sure, everybody might not remember Vinnie. He was, uh, he was of a generation. Yeah. Because that generation, you could kick people, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah. And, foul, and Vin, yeah. Vinnie enjoyed it more than anybody. He loved that physical aspect, that battle. Yeah. Um, and uh, for people who don't know, he was an absolute brat in a dressing room. He'd cut you. He'd cut your clothes up. Uh, he dyed your shoes. He. Oh, they. He. He. I don't know if I can even say it. He'd shit in your shoes, and he'd, he'd do all sorts <laughs> like anything to uh, uh, for a bit of banter. Is the uh, was the uh, was the word yeah. it, it now is what we call it. That they call it, you know team building. Yeah. So uh, Vinny would do all sorts. So uh, yeah. So, yeah. So, Luca's in the house. Good evening, Luca. You've got a big game tomorrow. Tell us how confident you are about that. That's the We've got a great day of football, you know, tomorrow because we've got a 12.30 yeah. game and a 5 or 5.15 or 5.30 game, whatever yeah, whatever that one is. So, um, so we've got... Uh, oh, Vinny took time out after his wife passed. I didn't realise his wife had died. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. the gentleman was awesome. All right. Okay. We'll have to, I'll have to... Uh, I will have to put that on my list. Um, uh, uh, so uh, Luca is a MK Dons fan, so it'll be old time football when tackling was still allowed and not an automatic car. That's true. I preferred yeah. the, uh, the somewhere in between because that that football was leg breaking football and stuff. So uh, that's the yeah. only downside to that, Kim. But but fundamentally, you're right. You could you could put a tackle in uh, and uh, and not just get sent off uh, or just get a yellow card for breathing on somebody. Yeah. Uh, oh, Aaron's got a uh, an interesting. One. My nine year old daughter is playing centre back this year. I showed her Vinnie Jones highlights on YouTube. She said, "Dad, I'm not doing that." <laughs> <laughs> Elbows and everything he used to do. I've, uh, yeah. From your memory, have Wrexham ever had a Vinnie Jones? No, I don't think we've ever had anybody that's like because he was wild, player. wasn't he? He was. Yeah. He was, there's obviously the famous photo of him with Paul Gascoigne grabbing his nuts. Uh, yeah. So, uh, go and Google that if you've not seen it. I think that was from an FA Cup game, but I could be wrong. Um, yeah, no, I don't but... think we've had anybody like we, we are quite soft in that respect. Yeah, well, football's changed. You can't have them now, yeah. can you? No, no. But, um, I was just thinking back, maybe Jimmy Case, but you might be too young to remember Jim. Jimmy yeah. Case was that type of character. But I don't. He was at the end of his career when he came to us. So he. Right. He, he, that had worn off, really. If you'd have got him yeah. when he was 20... If Vinny against Jimmy Case in their prime would have been fireworks. Yeah. That would have been insane. Um, the last player I know that got anywhere near him, but he was still nowhere near him, if that makes sense, yeah. uh, was Sam Wedgbury. Ah, Wedg yes. Wedgbury would like... A, it was a, would, would like a, he'd face you up. He would be yeah. in your face, you know. Um, yeah, so I was in bed, but he signed the contract, didn't he? And then, and then he went. <laughs> yeah, because the... think, that wasn't Grimsby, was it? I don't know. It was. Some, it, it was to do with a tra traveling where he lived, wasn't it? Or something. It was. Hang on, but he hang on. he accepted it, and then out the contract, and then the next thing he was gone. Yeah. So the 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 thing that he did though, um, because normally what they do is they just kick up a fuss and try and sort yeah. get the move. And then, obviously, they've still got the Wrexham contract that has to be dealt with. So, Wrexham would have to yeah. pay him up. But he agreed to let Wrexham terminate his contract yeah. without him owing him any money. So, yeah. in his defence, he did it yeah. the right... He did it a really good way. Yeah. It was just bad timing. Yeah. Um, awesome. Let me just see. If anybody knows who Wedgbury <laughs> left Wrexham for, um, I for some reason, I got Grimsby or Colchester in my head. 
I think some of the stories so it was the same. Uh, what, what was his name that he went on the on the bus and he got off and went to Chesterfield? Oh, that was the guy who didn't sleep. He didn't. Oh, if he didn't score, the, he didn't sleep. Oh, that was it up front. He ended, wasn't it? ended oh. up at Yeovil or somewhere, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he did in the end. I can't. I can't remember what his name was, but no, I he can't. got. It's off, gone. He, yeah, he yeah. got on the Wrexham bus with the players and got off at the services and just. Left Wrexham to go to Chesterfield. I can't think of his name yeah. though. Uh, I'm just trying to see who he signed for. Oh, I guess I could look on Wikipedia. It was 2018. It was. Yeah. Um. He lived in Sheffield at the time. Let's have a look. Oh, why does Wikipedia not just give you? Wiki, there we go. Let's see, because this will this will annoy me. <laughs> oh, he went to Chesterfield. He did in the end. After that, yeah, I thought it was somewhere with the sea. Oh, there you are. You're right. So he living in Sheffield. He, I guess he's. It's a bit closer, I guess. So that's where. Uh... Wasn't the other one Adi Yusuf? Yes. Yeah. 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 The striker that said if he didn't score goals, he didn't sleep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, uh, uh, so yeah. Um, Michael Hillier said, Luca, what do you think the score will be? Yeah, come on, Luca. You've got a big game tomorrow at MK Dons. Let us know. We're all, we're, we're all, we're all sat here waiting to see what you yeah. say. I'm hoping uh, it's a draw or something, I am. Robbie Savage, probably closest for us. He used to wind people up. Um, I, I can see why you say that. Um, uh, the only diff thing is... Uh, did he make any appearances for Jackson? I don't know. I don't think so, did he? I don't think he did. Uh, he, I, I played against Robbie Savage in Gwersold. Yeah. Mm, it's just, I'm just, I don't want to say that he didn't and then be proved wrong that he had a loan here and went from Man United or something and that I didn't know about. Now nah, he never played for us. So, although he's from Wrexham, he never never played any cup games or anything daft for us before he before uh, for on any loans or anything. So, uh, so that's the uh, that's why. But your intention is right. He was a wind up merchant. Um, uh, oh, there's some. There must be some American sport going on here. Uh, uh, yeah, somebody's up forty six thirteen. All this. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, these anecdotes are pure gold. Yeah, oh, we've got loads of these anecdotes. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I think she's uh, what, JFC. More homework for me. I don't know what JFC abbreviation is, uh, so you'll have to let me know. Um, but yeah, go and have a look at go on out go on YouTube and have a look at Vinnie Jones' best moments or something. Um, because uh, you will uh, you will see some crackers there. Uh, John said, "Who will win on Tuesday, Wales or Poland?" So, uh, you, I'm not Welsh, so but I will give a comment. Go on, Emma. You uh, you give us a give us a give us a score prediction. I think it'd be a tough one, if, especially if that Lewandowski's playing. Yeah, but I'm hoping we do it. Well, obviously, hoping we do it, but. I think, I mean, the performance last night was really good, but I think it's going to be a tough game going into Tuesday. Do you not, you sound wary then. Yeah, I'm hoping that they win, like, but I don't know. I just, I'm not fussed with Paige in charge. I'm not. Okay, that is, uh, I can, yeah. I've seen a few people in with not the performance yesterday, but the previous performances. People have been a little bit disillusioned by what they've been watching. Yeah, I mean, like yesterday they had a good game, so everything's like rosy kind of thing. But I think he's lost and drawn a lot of like. Obviously, we didn't qualify straight away. I think we've had to do it the hard way. So. I just think, yeah, and, and a bit with all the, a bit like a shit house we were mulling, putting him on the, you know, on the list. On the standby list. I'm not list. even telling him. Yeah, yeah, it's, that was a bit. Yeah, I'm not saying bit. there might be better players ahead of Mullin. I, I get that, but if you listen to Trundle when he was saying about Mullin for Wales, yeah. he said, what's the harm in, in you, no. you know, trying him out? 
If you've got somebody scoring goals at whatever level, you should always yeah. have a look. Just get them in and have a look at them. What's the like? Yeah, because um, even Trundle said that it doesn't matter where the Mullin plays in the championship, he's still the same player. Yeah, yeah. Mullin is the thing about Mullin, they say international football is a bit faster than league yeah. than football league football. But Mullin is never relied on pace. He always relies on a on a yeah. clever, he's clever. Uh, he's yeah. got good movements, he's got good instincts. Yeah. Uh, and he's technically very good, so he relies on elements of the game that that uh, bypass, yeah, bypass the word that that sort of make up for the fact that you might not have that extra yard or two of of, of elite pace. So, yeah, um, I would have definitely had a look at him um, me, yeah. if I was Wales. Um, yeah, and to be you know, and Will Evans, I'd have had. I think he's another yeah. Welsh because he's from Oswestry Street. Way he's yeah, a new he's boss. Still well, yeah. I'd have had a look at him. I'd have had him in yeah. training and just seen what have we got here. Yeah, definitely. Um, but you know, even if you didn't believe, just get him in, get him involved, yeah. um, and see, you know, see him on a day to day basis and see what's yeah. what. Uh, so yeah. yeah, Lewandowski is uh, in theory, unless he's been injured, he will play. Uh, yeah, he did play the other night where they beat Estonia five one yesterday. Yeah, so they'll both be going in with confidence, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be a tough game. I, th- I mean, on paper. Poland have got some some players who are far more experienced at the top level than Wales. Yeah. So you might say that gives them the edge. Where's the game being played? Do you know? In Cardiff, isn't it? And like, uh, it's at home, isn't it? Have you got, is it? Is it actually yeah, I'm sure it is. It is, yeah. yeah. So you can counter that with some home, a, a vociferous home support. That place will be rocking. Um, yeah. To counter that, uh, and Poland weren't good at the last the ma- last major competition we had. I think Poland disappointed. Yeah, uh, is that? I'm I'm assuming that's going to go to extra time and penalties. I would have thought so. We probably yeah. So here we go. Here's my prediction: Wales win on penalties. Yeah, it'd be the good though, time... if they did come to the race course and play as well, wouldn't uh... it? Yeah, that's the, it'd be nice if they did anything yeah. in the north. Um, exactly. Yeah. So, um, uh, the, the reason I say on penalties, uh, the last time, years ago, I remember Paul Bowden missing from the penalty spot against somebody and uh, not getting through to a tournament on pens. So, I think there'll be a bit of uh, a, a nice bit of circle of life if uh, Wales can get through on pens. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. I don't think Poland are what they were. That's no, the, that's the reason that I uh, I think that uh, one is twenty nine and one. John says one is ranked twenty nine and one in thirty in in the rankings. Mm-hmm. So it's close. Then. Though, yeah, it is. But those rankings are, uh, yes. are well, they're 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 rubbish because different yeah. teams are playing different quality of pl- and it's it's uh, it doesn't sort of uh, it doesn't help. It is in Cardiff. Yeah, we've just uh, we just. Just suss that. So yeah, big week. We've got massive weeks. We've got f- three big games here. Then you've got the Wales game. Then you've got the Wrexham game. Then there's more big yeah. games at the weekend. I think there's more. Uh, uh, you know, we've got Good Friday, and we're on the Tuesday, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, oh, we let's plug that. That is. Uh, although I'm not sure how many uh, how many uh, potential people we've got watching because we obviously can, uh, that we'll see that. But if you've got nothing to do on. S- Sunday, uh, go to the race course, get a football fix, uh, and watch the women. Um, I don't know how true it was. Have you seen any attendance numbers, Emma? No, nothing. Right. So uh, I got a message to say that they'd sold 600 odd tickets um, yeah. by midweek or something, whatever it was that I got the message. Um, yeah. And that, that I think at the moment, the only stand that's open is the Wrexham Lager stand. Yeah. Um, but I haven't seen that official anywhere, so I could, I'm i I'm willing to be wrong. Um, no. So if you can, get down and support the women, because that's a, that's a good game against Swansea. Um, uh, yeah, and, I think know, Ryan one. plugged it, didn't he, on Twitter? Yeah, yeah. Um, he put out that uh, a, a video from when he was here from the previous game. Um uh, and he brought his daughters and stuff, didn't he? Yeah. So, uh, so they had a great game. So, yeah, we can't get. We have obviously haven't got a home fixture, but the women have. So, if you can, it's about three quid for an adult, if memory serves me right. Um, and uh, the tickets are dead easy to get, no problem. So, uh, go online and get them. So, uh, yeah, 
book your tickets go and get a football fix on uh, on sunday um if you've uh, if you've got nothing else that uh, that's planned go and support the women um because that would be good all right let's uh should we? Uh, oh, unless we get only three. Ah, oh, there you go. So I just confirm. Uh, Jesse said three pound for adults and one pound for kids. There you go. That's all right. Um, that's cool. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let I'll let people will let people go now. Um, if you've got if you need a football fix and you're still up about midnight, uh, I think Josh has got a show about half past twelve where he'll he'll be talking and previewing the game. Um, with different Wrexham fans from all around the world. John might be there. He pops in on all these. Um, Sheldon might be there. Ivan might be there. Uh, John's just reminded me I'll be running 20 miles on Sunday. That's right. <laughs> that's uh, that's why I've not got to a lot of away games at the moment, because to be honest, I normally run on a Saturday morning. Yeah. And that's not, the away game is some of them. That's your travel time, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but this week I was... Uh, uh, Kath asked me to run on Sunday, so uh, so that's what we'll be doing. Uh, donate to the run, peeps. Yeah, please donate. I've, yeah, I've got a QR code. I've, where is it? All right, if you've got a mobile phone, scan that QR code. Right? How good is this? Scan that QR code, and that'll take you to my donation page, and you can donate to one pound, two pound, or ten pound, or whatever you want. Um, so uh, that would be really good because I'm running for cancer research. Uh, and that affects, in some way, shape, or form, that affects most of us. Um, I'm sure we can all think of people that we've uh, that have been affected by cancer. So if you uh, and that there's a very relevant story today. I don't know if you've seen yeah. that in yeah, topical news, news. Uh, which uh, uh, which came out that um, uh, that uh, we have some more cancer, unfortunately, in the royal family. Uh, yeah, I did put a tweet out. We said, "I'm very sorry for Kate. That's really awful. I hope she recovers." But the mess they made of that uh, yeah, on social media is yeah. farcical. It's a joke. I don't I, know I wasn't, not yeah. people, but um, I wasn't expecting that, though, to be honest. No, but then they, they should have just came out and said she's, yeah. she's still not recovered instead of putting out fake pictures and fake videos. Yeah. It just um, made it worse, didn't it? And I mean, that video, did you see that video of them in the farm shop? Yeah, it didn't even look like this. <laughs> And yet, all the and yet the BBC yeah. Sky were all running it, saying, "Look, she's at the shop," and it's like you've just yeah. embarrassed yourself there. Yeah, people. that was terrible. Exactly. So, uh, so yeah, and I just, just to, I will say, <laughs> say this before we go: if um, whatever you do, avoid YouTube this weekend mm -hmm. if you uh, if you don't like Joey Bahatton, right? Because um, he's, he, I don't know if you know, he has a <laughs> podcast. Um, and he, he's he's very anti he's anti women's football in a way that he's got he's got a view on women's football that doesn't tie in with what other people think of women's football, right? No. Um, and this week he's doubled down on his thoughts on women's football on this podcast, and I'm like, this is this is this is going to cause chaos, and people are going to get ill from being so angry at him. So no. if you want a stress free weekend, uh, do not. Uh, do that. Oh, Alex, Alex is back. Well, he's Have just you? had a GoFundMe page, hasn't he? Does he has, because yeah, yeah, he has, because he's getting sued by De Jeremy, Jeremy Vine. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested. I'm interested. Hello. I didn't think it'd still be on. Oh, well, <laughs> I've, to be honest, I thought people. I, I, on one hand, I thought people would be getting bored, right? But the viewers are going up at the moment, so I was like, oh. Um, uh, so have we got have, if we've got my I'm all right for time because Kath's gone to the circus, so I've got nothing to do. Um, it's just about what 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 else can we talk about that's Wrexham related? <laughs> Give us some ideas in the chat. <laughs> we'll linger <laughs> around, we'll stay around if people have if people have got things for us to talk about. Um, but I was just like, uh, well, I don't know, it's you know. I didn't get many. I didn't get many sort of uh, teams and formations and stuff. So I've put my tactics board to bed, um, yeah. and I was like, oh, "Well, what, what else?" Have we talked about the um, <clears throat> Stockport v MK Dons game tomorrow? No, but what, we could. What we think might the best scenario would be for? for okay, 
Okay, I like this. All right, so let's go around the league then, shall we? Um, let's start there. Are you all right for time? Emma, let me know if you need to drop out because uh, no, I'm all right. Yeah. If, if you're like me and you can do whatever, um, so uh, so in my head, that needs to be a draw, yeah, me too, because I don't, I know, I understand why somebody would say I want uh, Mansfield to win or uh. Uh, I want Stockport or I want MK Dons to win. But I think we could still get first or third. So that keeps us in the hunt for first. Um, it doesn't get, you know, Stockport don't get further away from us too much. Uh, and MK don't catch us up quite. So yeah. that's that's why I say that. But you're looking like you'd rather somebody win it. I'd rather Stockport win it. I think the only team that's going to threaten us finishing in the top three is MK, is, is MK Dons. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I am bothered about the title, but I'm more bothered about finishing somewhere in that top three, stumbling over the line and going up. Yeah. And like I say, out of the chasing pack, I think crew have probably fallen off. It's only MK Dons that I'm worried about. So if they lose tomorrow, I'll be very, very happy. Draw would be nice as well, but I think worst case scenario, especially if we don't beat Grimsby, would be a, would be an MK Dons win. Does that change your mind, Emma, or what do you think? Um, no, I, well, I agree with Alex. Um, yeah, in a way, with MK Dons, I would prefer a draw, but if anything, I think it makes sense for Stockport to win it. Right. So, shall we? Yeah. Let me let me shut down the tactics window. Shall I bring up? The fixtures for tomorrow, and we'll have a look. Yeah, what do we mm -hmm. let's see. Because uh, uh, I'm going to leave that there. So, uh, did I finish what I did? I I don't know if I finished saying what I was saying. Did I did I finish saying what I was saying about the marathon? I can't remember. Right, it's basically up there. There's a QR code. Scan it, and if you've got a penny, give me something towards me. Run, Alex. Payday today. I've got no excuse, have I? <laughs> Alex. <laughs> I'm saying that because Richie donated ages ago. Uh, I had an anonymous donation. Uh, that was and... me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so you might try that one, Alex. However, said person actually phoned me today to tell me that uh, it was them that gave me the uh, uh, the donation. So well, you've been rumble. Then, was it? You've <laughs> been rumble. Uh, right, let's bring up the League Two matches and stuff for tomorrow. Uh, let me see if I can see that. Yes. Can that is that big enough? Can everybody see it? Not big enough. It's, oh, I don't know how to make it bigger. What happens if I pull it out? Oh, that if you like press out. control and use the wheelie Com thing on your mouse, there you go. Is that any better? It might be for you, but it's not for me now. If I snap it in there. All right, hang on. I'm just kind of trying to get it so that it's uh, big enough for me and the right size for you. Got to fit on my page. There we go. How's that? Not bad. Yeah, yeah. not bad. Uh, uh, okay, I don't need to go to. I practice what I preach. Thank you, John. That's very you. You did very kindly. Uh, and also, just point out that Sean's doing. But there's, there's watch alongs and stuff for, for these games tomorrow. So. Uh, uh, <laughs> Jess said I'd close the laptop. Yeah, I don't think you really need to see it, Jess. It's more well, we're, we're just going to talk about the the fixtures. So the early fixture tomorrow, uh, Mansfield Colchester. This is what we should be doing. We should be talk looking around the other other teams. What's going on? Shouldn't we? Yes, like this. Well done, Alex. Good job. You're here. Um, so Mansfield Colchester, T top against nearly bottom. I think I think Alex is trying to say he's donated. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Um, I'm sure the form with Mansfield, though, that they are better away than they are at home. Yeah, I think so, I, the Mansfield podcast, they were talking about like four or five nil or something like they, they're going to walk course. it like. But they have so, got a good goal difference, haven't they, as well? That's that's yeah, where our downfall is, is with the goal difference. Yeah, because they've got a goal difference of 42 and we've got a goal difference of 20. So we're never making that up. No. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mad Al. We, 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 I thought we'd finished, but then <laughs> Alex came back and people were kept viewing and we're, uh, we're still going. Um, so 
I mean, I, you can't look. It's at Mansfield. You can't see Colchester causing an upset. Can anybody see Colchester causing an upset there? You know what? Ooh. I think they've got half a chance. A draw? Take yeah. a draw? Well, 100% take a draw. But Mansfield have lost a couple at home um, yeah. in the last few weeks. Colchester fighting for their lives. They're only just above that relegation zone. Um and I know it's cliche, but I think with seven games to go, both teams are fighting for something. Form almost goes out the window. Yeah. And we've seen like a Wrexham, where the big teams in this league are liable to lose matches at home. It's not the National League, where 99 times out of 100, Wrexham yeah. or Notts County, as it was last season, will comfortably win their home matches. Mansfield approved by losing to mid-table slash lower table teams in the past couple of months they're not invincible so i wouldn't be surprised if that one is is closer than a lot of people think i don't know if you can see that comment that's what i just tickled me that did <laughs> Said, alex ate another family bucket and got a second wind <laughs> um... oh. well i mean you put a convincing uh you put a convincing story in there alex uh, so i'm going four nil mansfield uh mm. <laughs> what's it can you see it can you see colchester getting anything at mansfield I, i'd say they've got a chance like i say with their home form at home and th at the moment whoever's up there it, are just not grabbing it by the you know scruff every, everybody's got the yeah everybody's got the chance to go ahead and then it doesn't happen so i'm i'm gonna go for a draw Draw! Wow, wow! I'm amazed that we're. Uh... I mean, I love it if they do, and they are scrapping, so they have they have got some motivation, haven't they? Um, yeah, it's like fair. you know, with everybody who said with us, oh, we'll win Tram here at home, we'll win Harrogate at home, but it just doesn't work out like that, does it? No, no. Anything could happen. Okay, all right. I'm in the minority there. It would appear. But, uh, <laughs> I think. Uh, oh, that's a bit of a mess of a game. Harrogate Bradford, one o'clock. That's a weird time. That... Yeah. Yorkshire Derby. Yorkshire. Is that because yeah. they're trying to keep people out of the pubs, do you think? Or uh, uh, or what? So one o'clock, Harrogate against... I mean, did anybody... See... I saw the Bradford game the other night. Did anybody else see it? I didn't watch not... it. I was keeping up to date with it. Oh, right. But they were... Um, Bradford... We're a, we're a mess, really. It was really bad. So uh, they reckon the the people who attended, I think they announced the tickets as like fifteen thousand, but the people who they reckon there was like seven or eight thousand there in total. Um, so uh, they, you know, and they were booed off at the end, and it wasn't. It's not looking good for Bradford at the moment. So mm. um, that's that, that is the type. Yeah, they were saying on that um, Magpie Circle that. Not counted, sold eight hundred, well, eighteen hundred tickets for that's Bradford. right. Yeah. And then a th they had a thousand who wanted a refund. They gave a thousand back. Um, yeah, was the uh, was what they were saying. Um yeah. So Harrogate Bradford. I mean, that seems to me Bradford would love a draw. Harrogate are down there as well. That looks like to, that to me looks like it's got draw written all over it. What what are we yeah. what are we go on, Alex? Go on, spin us a story. You're gonna give us a Richie type score here now, aren't you? <laughs> uh, Bradford look to be conceding goals lately. Harrogate, to be fair, pretty impressed of Harrogate when they came to the race course. Yeah, they did set up away yeah. from home really well. They looked quite solid. Yeah, it's the home form it's that's the home, that yeah, aren't they rubbish at all? Yeah. I think they've got that fourth worst home form in the league. Um, I'm going to go two one Harrogate. You've just talked yourself out of that. <laughs> <laughs> I think Bradford are that bad at the moment. I think uh, I think Harrogate they were, will win. They were bad. Do you think Emma? What's it? I'm going to go for a draw one one. Yeah. Okay. Now we're now we're cooking. Uh, so that's a good game. Barrow Newport. Barrow have sort of seemingly gone off the radar a bit, haven't they? Yeah. You know what? If they win their two games in hand, they're not a million miles off the the automatics, if I remember rightly. I don't think this has a league table on it that I can get to. Got to see more at the top. Back into because I can see the top three. Oh, hang on! If I do that one, 
Let me just make sure I can go back to the fixtures. I can, but I've just got to skip across. That's not the end of the world. Uh, so what, what, what? who are we looking at? Who are we? Uh, Barrow. Barrow. Barrow are, so they're sixth. Yeah. Well, they've got some games in hand. Got one on crew, two on MK. So they could jump up, you know, to right behind us, basically. Yeah. If they if we put a run together, yeah. So we could probably do with, with Newport, getting something out of that. Oof. Oof. Just having to say that makes me feel ill. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, and Newport had been on a decent had been on a decent run for a while, but away from home at Barrow, Barrow needs to win. I'm I reckon Barrow win that. Yeah, me too. I think Will Evans is going to do us a favour. One one. Okay. All right. I'll take that. He's looked good. He's looked good again lately, you know. Yeah. He does look good. Uh, crew Wimbledon. Come on, Wimbledon. That yeah. is an interesting one. I mean, who was it that turned crew over at home? Was it um, who we played recently? Morecambe. Didn't they go there, yeah. go 2 0 down and win 3 2? 2, right. yeah. So, um, and Wimbledon are a good side, but they've obviously this sold Al Hamadi. They're still doing okay. I think they'll need a win to get in the playoffs or keep their place in the playoffs. I don't know. Uh, oh, I can flick screens, but it doesn't uh, doesn't tell you. So Wimbledon are seventh. So that's seventh against fifth. Uh, ooh, it's got draw all over it. That has. Oh, I hope so. That would be yeah. that would be that would be. I'd take that, wouldn't you? You just yeah, don't want definitely. a crew win, really, do we? I guess anything but a crew win with Wimbledon being further away. Yeah, um, yeah. That would be uh, that would be ideal. Uh, how are we feeling about Donny and Forest Green? <laughs> New teams we've still got to play. They are. Yeah. They are. Mm -hmm. So we don't really want somebody coming into form. No. Or feeling good about themselves. You want Forest Green to be already relegated or pretty much relegated by the time, by the time we play, play them. them. Yeah. Be on the, so they're on the beach. On the beach, but not on a good beach. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, and Donny, so Donny are in 18. Uh, mind you, we said that about Dover and then they oh, came yeah. with nothing to play for, didn't they? And well, that was one of the maddest games I think we've had. Yeah. Oh, six, five, was it? Yeah. Chaos. Chaos. We'll never have a game like that ever again. No. I said after the Grimsby game. And then we got the Dover game. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like uh, and we've had five holes and stuff, so we do get them, don't we? Um yeah. Forest Green got enough scrapping for their lives away from home. Doncaster in decent form. I think they'll I think they'll win. Yeah. Billy Waters needs a goal. Uh I was um, going to say, how's he been getting on there? Does, not scored, he hasn't I don't scored, think. has he? No. Him or, uh, him or Jake Bickerstaff? No, no. I don't think I've scored yet. So, uh, so yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, well, we've done that one. <laughs> we know Rex and we're going to win. Morecambe against the Jills. That's a decent game. They're not millions of miles away from each other, are they? That's 10th against 12th. Both teams both them. need to win, yeah, if they want to get in the playoffs. I'd, I'd say Gillingham, I would. Gillingham away. Gillingham by a goal. Yeah. Yeah, go with that. Seems about right. Ooh, not County <laughs> Salford. Has anybody got a nuke? Oh. Two teams <laughs> to do without. It's like... no. um, I'm not... I... Not County have won the other night, and they'll be, and they'll be loving it, right? Yeah, but the, they were helped by how bad poor Bradford were. Yeah, I think so Salford are the side where they where even if they're losing, they come back. And that the Matt Smith is a bloody menace, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He absolutely bullied us. He was he yeah. was doing the same against Stockport until um, Challoner got hold of him at half time. Yeah, um, so. I wouldn't be surprised if they get a bit over complacent and over excited and yeah. Salford will win by a goal. Yeah, I think Salford yeah. will win now. And Salford again, you know, they're 20th. 
this this is like they were they were the original documentaries. They had the big money, they had the razzmatazz, and they've got stuck in that league, Alex, haven't they? Yeah, their aim was to do back to back, wasn't it? But they've yeah. just not had any luck. I think they lost in the playoff semi final last year. Could have been the playoffs the year before as well. And the owners have said they're still hundred percent committed, but. They've got some investment. They've, got, they've haven't they? Have they either had it or they're looking for some investment from external they put a investment? Tweet out about a month ago, didn't they? I'm yeah. not sure if they've had it or not. Um, but now I can see Salford winning. To be honest, I don't think much of Notts County's manager. I think he's a bit of a oh, I think he needs to go back to the big, that level and back to the BT job. Back to um, <laughs> fixing internet for a living. Yeah, at least he's got a job to fall back on if he does get sacked. Yeah, yeah. I think um, uh, listening to the Pavis Perspective today, if uh, which is another Notts County podcast, they were loving it today about how brilliant they were and how amazing they were and how they last week they were all yeah they were really without saying it they wanted him gone. They just didn't want to say they wanted the manager gone because of all the all the abuse that they would get on social media. So that's why they weren't basically saying it. But you could tell that they wanted him gone. Uh, and then this week he's like, "Oh no, that's uh, it. Now we'll build for the future." And you know, and it's like, well, they they usually do a vlog of the, uh, like of in the match, but the last few games that uh, they've done it, they've just done it them sitting in a car because nothing. <laughs> Film, which I, I thought think... was quite funny because they, they didn't take anything of the game because there was nothing no, to see. I, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. It's because they watched it at somebody's house, is what I believe. They didn't go to the game. Uh, I think they must have gone to a mate's house or whatever and watched it. It was a midweek one because they were in the dark car, weren't they, sat yeah. there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Sutton and Accrington. Sutton get it. I mean, are they not? Are they well, sort of had new manager today, is it? That's oh, well. have they? I haven't seen that. I've missed that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, any, I, don't, any... I don't know. I I don't recognise the name, but oh, uh, three year if... deal, three year deal any... he's had. If anybody knows, so... let me know in the comments. Uh, but let me have a look because I had I've uh, I've missed that when I've come in from work and been getting ready. Yeah, I just seen a picture because uh, their chairman had a picture with him signing the contract. Oh, of course he did. Of yeah. course he did. He had to get back in on it. Uh, John Doolan. That's it. John so they may, they may like play for the you know for the manager now because obviously if they're not going to get anywhere, but they'll have to show him what they can do if their contracts and things are up. Right, so that's an internal appointment. He's been uh, he, uh, he's been at the club in a coaching capacity since July 2017. Um, he's going to work closely with Stanley's academy. So basically, they're going to promote loads of kids, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> that's 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 what you know. That's what that says to me. So uh, um, so yeah, you might get a bit of uh, new manager bounce. Is the uh, yeah, is that? And I, but the flip side to that is that Sutton need to win, don't they? They kind of can't afford that. Were there? What are they? They're probably only a, a game or two away from being confirmed as down. Um, yeah, and if they can get a, a Colchester are the oddball down there because they're twenty second, which is the spot above relegation, but they've played two games less than Forest Green and three games less than Sutton. So yeah. they they sit just on the same points as Forest Green, but they've got all that to play out. So that's what's quite interesting there. Mm. Tell you what, um, Grimsby, Ch Grimsby you know. Yeah, Grimsby Chesterfield old... didn't uh, beat our score last year. That's another. Yeah, that was another. Did you see that, Alex? They uh, got beat by Halifax, so they can't beat the hundred and eleven points. Unlucky boys, because that's all they talked about. So, yeah. what, anyway, what we so I think Sutton are going to win. <laughs> I at home needing a win. Yeah. I think they're going to get a dodgy penalty. Yeah, I think they'll win. Yeah, yeah, I'm going one 0 Sutton dog fight, but they're going to get yeah. the win. Yeah, uh, another bit of a good game, Tranmere Crawley. Crawley, uh, I say good game. Obviously, Crawley are in ninth. Yeah, uh, and can climb into the playoffs if the results 
perhaps some score lines go their way. Tranmere, we know, are on a good run, though. Yeah. Um, um, I'm hoping Tranmere win that one. We don't want you... Crawley coming to the race course, hoping or still oh, fighting yeah. for okay. the playoff spot. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's go with that. I'm, I'm, I, can, I, can, I can go with the theory on that one. Uh, so then we get to quarter past five, and then we get a blockbuster. Uh, for want of a better word, uh, <laughs> we get Stockport County and MK Dons. Pick the bones out of that. We already have, haven't we? I mean, <laughs> but like it is a, you know, that that is a crackerjack of a fixture. Oh. Yeah. So that that could the, yeah, that could throw the promotion race wide open if MK Dons win. I mean, I've, I've I've watched a bit of MK Dons and they do play lovely football. You know, they are they've totally you know they had a terrible run, and they've been rebuilt brilliantly. Um, I tell you what, wowzer! And Stockport, I tell you what, Stockport. I, somebody said this before. It might have been John. Stockport are in similar form to us, Alex. They are. Um... Oh, it was Aaron, I think. Hang on, let me just check. Yeah, there you go. Stockport is on worse form than everybody in the top five. I could see them dropping to fourth or fifth. If if they end up in the playoffs and don't go up, is Chaloner going to get sacked? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Because they're so ambitious. They've spent so much money. Um, he would have had enough time by then, they would say, wouldn't they? And they've basically, he would have fluffed the league because they were winning it so comfortably early on. Yeah. Yeah, if they finish in the playoffs and don't go up, he'll be gone. Um, yeah. There was rumours of him going earlier in the season at one point, but... Yeah, I remember that. I think I that they, the 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 end of it. they Didn't they lose, like, the first... Didn't, or it got very little points from about the first five games. Yeah, was, it wasn't he favourite for the job? Yeah. Oh, say that again, Emma. I think he wasn't he favourite for a job somewhere else. Oh, I'm sure he was at the start of it, and they weren't sure whether he was going to stay or not. And then he he never bothered. But I'm sure it was a higher league. Okay, you might be right. I mean, something now you've said it, something comes to yeah. well, my memory for those little details that long ago is uh, is not so good anymore. Um, <laughs> but that'll be a good. I, I mean, it's like I'll watch. I'll watch that one. Is, is, yeah. Will anybody else queue that one up on the dodgy fire stick, or will you? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Have you got better things yeah. to do on a Saturday night? No. Where well, people want to watch along. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. That's the that was the right answer. Um, that was the diplomatic answer. Stockport has an injury has injury issues. Um, oh, they I'm glad we didn't there. find that Powell. To be honest, Nick Powell. Yeah. yeah. He has been a bit in and out, hasn't he? Because remember, there was yeah. uproar when we didn't sign him, wasn't there? Yeah, no, I'm um, glad we didn't. But um, yeah, I think it. I think in hindsight, I'm not sure if who came in at this. Who came in at about that time? Would it have just been Fletcher at the end of the window? Yeah, I think it was Fletcher as a forward. But I remember the meltdown, really, of people like... Well, it wasn't so much. It was all, well, we didn't want him anyway because he's injured all the time. Um, yeah. But their biggest issue, of course, was uh, the guy who ripped us apart early in the season. Was that Louis Barry? Yeah. He was on loan I from think Villa. Big loss. Barcelona, I think he was. Yeah. I think he went from Barcelona to Villa and they loaded him to Stockport. Um, yeah. And their season fell apart a little bit when... Uh, when he uh, he got that injury, so we were uh, we were, you know uh, we for, but of course he scored. Did he score two against us? I think he scored twice. Yeah, uh, he scored a lot of goals. I think if I he think gets... if he wasn't injured, they'd, I have, think... wa they'd have walked it. Yeah, I think he you know really good he was for them. Yeah. Okay. Um, interest very interesting. Just I've just 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 looked at the top rated players here that was sneaking. I don't know if anybody's seen that. Um but uh Davis Keller Dunn is uh, top rated behind with Elliot Lee behind him. Yeah. Um which is quite All interesting player Kelly Dunn. Yeah, Keeler Dunn was uh, yeah. we we were talking about that before so that was uh you know that was quite interesting. It's, it's like Akil Wright as well, isn't it? I mean he did all right for Wrexham but 
he seems to be doing good, you know, really well for Stockport. He had what? Well, well, I think he's fallen out of favour now. But he had oh, the first he? season that they went up. He yeah. was up there as like one of their best players. Best, yeah. Um, he was, um, but we couldn't decide whether to play him uh, defensive midfielder or attacking midfielder. That was, I think, yeah. that was his problem. He was yeah. one of them. Um, but he could get around the pitch a lot. He was, uh, you know, he was, uh, he was a good player. Uh, John just said, is it outside the blackout window? So, yeah, any games on international weekends? Um, there, I can't remember what the article is. Is it article 48? Oh, I can't remember. But basically, the blackout doesn't apply this weekend. So, uh, it's on general eye follow for people who've got uh, accounts or want to buy it, uh, those games. And uh, internationally, I noticed that in America, some of these games are just on regular ESPN, I think Josh said. So, uh, they've picked some of them up as well to uh, to put on uh, on there. So, uh, that was quite interesting. Yeah. All right. Have we had enough now then? <laughs> Is there anything else for some? Have you got any more have you got any more rabbits in the hat, Alex or Emma? Um no, it's getting late. Let's oh. let's go. Oh, okay. <laughs> after, the, after the Grimsby match. Yes, we'll just uh... think will have already gone down there like, like today. So I, I'm going to assume so because they do historically. Um, whether we got the bus or whether we flew is a different issue because, uh, yeah. um, they're, um, yeah, just to pick up on John's, yeah, all games are outside the blackout if it's an international weekend, John. So, uh, so, uh, yeah, um, so whether we flew or whether we got the bus is, uh, is an issue because when we were winning away games, I think they were letting them fly. Uh, yeah. But that might have stopped now, so we might be on the bus. <laughs> you went on the bus <laughs> if you don't win. <laughs> they, they might be on. Uh, they might be on an uncomfy Pat's coaches, uh, and not the new shiny one. I don't think we've. I don't think we'd won away when we'd used the new shiny one um, that we've bought. So, um, so yeah, they'll have gone down today. I'm sure. Um, yeah. Um, it's got to help. All these things help. They, they you know. This is the type of thing we couldn't afford to do under the trust, is you know, to, to stay yeah. away at all these grounds and games. And um, but they are not short of resources now, are they? To be fair, they have all the best equipment, they have all the best treatments, you know, the cryogenics truck that turns up. They have, I'm told, they've got every vitamin and tablet and supplement that you could ever want. Uh, we've got the probably one of, if not the biggest medical sort of, it, it, it's it's relatively small compared to a Premier League side, but the best, med, you know, really good medical facilities that we never had. Um, it's mad so... to think that we've got all that now, but when we had like Gary Mills, it was a pint on the way down. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing is, to be fair, like Gary Mills got rid of a lot of the youth and reserves because he yeah. wanted every penny into the first team, didn't he? Yeah. And it was interesting listening to a podcast today that some of the um, some of the Mansfield fans were moaning that they haven't got any homegrown players coming through. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I just, you know, I was that sat there thinking, well, we've got Max and Jordan. You can yeah. argue about whether they'll be here next year. Uh, more so Jordan, I think, in that in that regard, because I think Max is on, on an upward trajectory and Jordan's definitely, is he flat or is he going downwards? I'm not sure. He's not getting game time or anything. No. Um, but uh, even, you know, they're moaning, bemoaning the lack of youth coming in and, uh, you know, bodies. So, uh, yeah. so, yeah. So there you are. Right. So, um, yeah, Alex wants to go because he wants another KFC. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's what he really wants, isn't it? Yeah. Made me hungry, Alex. I'll tell you that. Oh, it hits the spot. I tell you. Oh, I do like it. I tell you what. Um, as, uh, have you ever had a slim chickens? Yeah, no. I went to Cheshire Oaks last oh. year. Spot on. <laughs> Emma, have you ever had a slim chickens? No, we always go to your sushi when we go to Cheshire Oaks. Oh, okay. If you like KFC, I would recommend. Uh, uh, although Alex is probably going to say he prefers KFC. What's your preference? <sighs> You know what? I made the mistake of going extra hot on my wings when I oh. went to Slim Chicken. My mouth was on fire for about oh. two hours. <laughs> Only I mean, barbecue. KFC, KFC just edges it. All right. Okay. Just, 
No, they do it like a honey barbecue sauce, which is amazing to have with your slim chicken. So uh, that's uh, that's my recommendation. Um, okay. All right, uh, let's uh, let's. Uh, well, I'll, I'll see. We'll see you on Sunday. Do if are we gonna? We I might have to come on and do like another, like you know, post mortem after we like last, last <laughs> week. Uh, I'm not sure what we'll what it, what you know. Oh, it could be awful. Uh, so mm -hmm. yeah, I might do. I might do something. Um, on Sunday, but, we'll, but we'll yeah i might we might need more therapy ever yeah basically that. <laughs> um, so enjoy the wherever you're going to enjoy enjoy the game wherever you are um and with a bit of luck we'll uh we'll have three points and feel better yeah How's definitely that? yeah well, that's as good as i can do all right <laughs> let's go everybody thanks very much okay thanks very much